Here we go. <sighs> okay. <sighs> man. What's up, Zikiro? How you doing, ma'am? Hope you're having a good one. It's over the yawn. I am exhausted, though, dude. My goodness. Nothing sold? Come on. Douglas, somebody buy these pets off of me, man. That could be some gold for my alt when it comes to the Legos. What's up, Tony? How you doing, my man? Hope you're having a good one. Look, one of these pets apparently can sell for 60k. If it actually sells. That's a Legos. Ah, max level Legos for my alt. Dude, actually, by the way, max level Lego prices have dropped. Chat, I watched, looked at it the other day. A legendary cost 13k. A max item level one. I want to see if that's true. 12k. That's so inexpensive for plate. Mail, 13k. <laughs> Leather, that got to be a lot, right? <laughs> 12k. <laughs> that's actually so good. Cloth, is that cheaper? They're all relatively cheap now. That's so nice. What's up, Grazer? Just already notification on Discord. Yep, back at it again, man. You know what it is. You know what it is, boys. You're getting back into the raid. Good morning or good evening. I guess for hanging out with me super, super late, man. I do appreciate it. We're going to be here for like three hours. I'm going to serve at 291 to 30k. Okay, it depends on the server, though. Right? Because I'm on a big server. Illidan is one of the bigger ones over on the NA. Definitely one of the bigger servers. So, everybody's different. Cora, my man, how you doing, my guy? What's up, what's up? Heroes 30k. Really? Okay. 19 streets? I believe so, yeah. Yes, I believe so. Oh, wait, right now? I'm raiding. Or 50 streets for an alt. I'm raiding right now. Otherwise, I would. I actually would love to do those streets. Like, uh, 19? And I'd even bring my main. I'd be down, my guy. Maybe like tomorrow, because but tomorrow's my day off. I don't really know what I'll be doing tomorrow. I guess I'll be doing like what? I guess I should be doing some work and stuff. Tomorrow. I'm not even sure what I'm doing for tomorrow, man. Tomorrow's actually like a free day for me completely. I'm gonna drop it just for you. You don't gotta drop it. Keep it 19 for now. Because maybe I'll do it on my main. And then we'll just get you like a really, really decent key out of the way. Yeah, best percent on Andy. Rob, I don't know, remember percent, but we saw phase two. For like a, a little bit. We killed some of the ads. We couldn't kill the fourth ad. If he uh, gives you an idea. So like he was like at 58%, I think. But percentage on an Anduin doesn't really matter. Because we are blasting him. Right? We're, we He should be at like 60 or, or like 70. But we are blasting that guy. Like he's going to melt. Like by the time we get into second intermission. If we're going to see phase 3 immediately. And then if we can do phase 3 well enough. Like he's going to die. We got so much boss damage for Anduin. It's just we're bad with mechanics. Like, we gotta be honest with what we are bad at. We're bad with mechanics, but if you can fix them up, then the end of it is a shoe win. Easily. By the way, Zand, dude, I gotta get the shoulders. These are the best looking shoulders in a video game ever. Look at these gloves, too. They're nice and bulky. Nice and chunky. The legs, oh my. Dude, I gotta go get that Legion set. That's like the Warrior Mythic set. I gotta get the pieces, man. I gotta take the time out of my day. They look so good. Because they look like a Paladin set. It looks, dude, the weirdest part too is the warrior recolors for that. All the one, LFR, normal, heroic, in my opinion, look really bad. And the mythic just like, god sand. Oh, I'm feeling this week is not my week. Down and end when due to dots of dying and away from the It'd be like that sometimes, there are keys. You know what I mean? You gotta get back in there, though, my guy. You gotta get back in there. Keep your chin up, keep your head up, and keep grinding. I believe my man. Let me believe in me that believes in you. Believe in you that believes in believe. Hold on. Believe in the you that I believe in. Right? <laughs> Apparently Deadly uh, DBM needs an update. Uh, can WoW up update it? Maybe. Does WoW up have DBM? It's one of the uh, updates, one of the add-ons. It doesn't. Ugh, it's so annoying. 
Alright, deadly boss mods. I guess I'm gonna need to do it manually. It's so weird how we're gonna have to do all our, our add-on updates now that a WoW up is all kinds of effed. Unless I get the curse app, which I don't think I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Some people said standalone app, it's actually just fine. Uh, but I've heard like mixed reports. Some people said, yeah, it's fine. It works properly. And it's like, it doesn't help do that overall thing. But then other people that are a little bit more tech savvy than me, on like the networking, they said that apparently like the Angel server y'all goes to the same place. So it does the same thing that Overwolf does, which is what people really didn't like. So then it's like, well, it doesn't actually do anything like different. It's it's it says it's not the same, but it kind of is the same. Like when you look under the hood, it tr it quacks like a duck, it, it walks like a duck, and it talks like a duck, it swims like a duck. And it says it's a swan, so it's like, it's probably a dog, dude. It's probably a duck. Whatever, man. I'm still trying to drop a chest in M+. Yo, hopefully you get one, my guy. I tried to get just your set. How reliable is that build for twos and threes? Which one? The Kyrian? Um... Nah, bro, I'm burnout and survival. Rather focus on rogue gonna be stoked to get my rogue to 15. How reliable is that build for 15 and twos? The Kyrian Outlaw? It's huge. It's massive. That's what you wanna play. Unless you're talking about, like, a different build. Are you mean like the build we, we had for a video earlier? I mean, that can do twos just fine. It's a bursty thing with threes that could be cheesy, but definitely can do twos if you get their trinkets out. Must be a goose. Yeah, it's a good. It's a. It's yeah. It's weird because people don't like uh, Overwolf because of like some issues with it. Those issues being like possibly mining crypto on your people's PCs. Not sure if that's true or not, but that's like. If there's even an inkling that the program does that, I don't want it on my PC. One. Second. Collecting your data and sending it to somewhere. Um, and I think... I could be wrong on this one, but I think Overwolf... Like, it's a Chinese company. So, usually a Chinese company has links to the Chinese government. And then it could be like, oh, maybe they collect the data. And maybe they send it to the Chinese government. I don't care whose government we're talking about. If any of my data gets sent to a government, I don't care. I don't want to. <laughs> As someone who took IT back in college and took cybersecurity class, it's like, nope. I know it's a bad thing. I don't want it. I don't care about the details, I don't want it. So even if there's a chance that that's what's going on, nah. Like, maybe I'm wrong, and that's not what's going on, but if it is, uh Open source, but, uh, or bust, really. Yeah, open source or bust, and that's what was good about a WoW Up, is I believe WoW Up was open source. At least everybody that I know liked WoW Up. But everybody I ask that does do, like, their item management, I ask them, like, so what are you gonna do? They're like, I'm not gonna update my add-ons. I'm just not gonna- I'm just not gonna do it. Unless it's like, I- unless- unless I necessarily need to, and it's like causing an issue in my game, I'm just not gonna do it. Which I guess it doesn't matter. But, for me, what you guys said, uh, earlier, I- was it yesterday or the day before? Is it true that Blizzard is apparently gonna be, uh, banning certain add-ons that ease gameplay? Like, some of you guys said, I think, either yesterday on stream, or earlier today, or- yesterday's afternoon stream evening stream for me like not super late not this late but like the one before that then apparently blizzard is going to be going after certain add-ons that make gameplay easier like uh the turn aside puzzle game or like the um the dread lords uh lords of dread like the boss fight among us mini game like apparently you could do like a weak aura that basically plays a for you apparently they're going to be going after certain weak auras I wonder if they're just gonna bake some of that stuff into like the base UI though, you know? I think it'd be interesting. Without a legendary, only 265 unity, and 232 item level, no flask, potion, fuse, or nothing. What are Outlaw LFR DPS 5.5? Is Outlaw D tier? It's not that bad, honestly. No, no, not those add ons. Okay, well, I have no idea if that's true or not, Zikarus. I just remember someone said it, but I don't remember if they were like. What exactly they said, but I, I, one of you guys said that they're gonna be go, going after certain add-ons. I'm not sure which ones though, so don't quote me. But if they are, like, I guess I don't know, like add-on that solves the turn aside puzzle for ya. I don't know, man. Like I know they want it to be a puzzle, but like the best, I mean, the best they could do is like instead of having to have a person run up to this pedestal so it shows up what icon you have, just have them display all the time so it's just easier. Like, if they are gonna go after those add-ons, like, make this puzzle just slightly easier, because people just want to get their keys done as quick as possible. So if you help us, just make it, like, those... Those, uh, what is it? The, the icons show up. Wait, break immediately? Huh? What? 20 minute break? What's going on here? Do we not have people? We're missing 20s! 
what the chat are we gonna be here for 20 minutes no no way hold on let me join discord and mute myself just so i can see what the hell is going on 20 minute break no way Exactly a difficult Damn. Despite our best attempts to make it. Anyone want to play some Earth? Hell yeah. I'll play around. Show me. Add pain. Yeah, Are we really in that battle of spot tonight? Like we don't have anybody? That's crazy. There's no way, man. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The moons, I'll be right back and then we can. 20 minutes break. Okay. But chat, what do we get over for 20 minutes? Should we go like, I don't know, get a... I don't know, I feel like I could do a quick gambit real quick while we're waiting. Jesus. Hmm. What can we do? Diamond 4. Hmm. Do we need to choose for a Veil Strider title? The Veil Strider? Me? Uh, I don't know if I will. I mean, I don't really care much about achievements. Yeah, Veil pain. Strider. Yeah, I don't even know what like Money. it entails, to be Money. honest. One more. One more for Earth. Any takers? It's just a plague full ATM, plenty of time left, wipe one trash back, and the best is like double TF. What the? I don't understand it, man. King, I don't understand. Where do these people come from? Me. I don't like it. This from next batch? Oh, okay. In 9 <laughs> to 5? Alright. Okay, I only played over here. So, chat, I guess we gotta wait 17 minutes until uh, Smite gets on or somebody else gets on because we missed on the 20 years. So, what do we do for 20 minutes, man? Do we hop on PTR for a bit? Yeah, what do we do for the next 20 minutes, boys? But you don't feel like those needs to add a punch with the system for levers. I don't know if they will have some in plan for like 9 to 5. I think if anything, they might adjust it for Dragonflight. Can you show your stats for a sec? Yeah. My stats I don't think are perfect. But it can kind of work. Maybe. We got a bit of Versa, a little bit of Haze. I don't need as much Haze if I'm playing like the uh, Alacrity build. Okay, it looks like you're starting to see if you might be able to swipe one of the group two boys as a healer. And maybe bring him into uh, Anduin Prog. I'm trying to see if maybe there's a healer on the uh, team two that they're not going to be using for Anduin that we might be able to get in here so we can uh, get some pulls. Because I think we're just missing a healer, right? We got Lemoons, Coralius, Ale. So we are missing a healer. We're missing uh, Clavin. Is Cleveland gone for the night? Is that what happened? Did you write anything? Cleveland didn't say anything. Didn't say anything. Side chance I'm late tonight. I wouldn't need to be late. Okay, okay, okay. Just ended. I didn't care how long afterwards ceremony is gonna be. Can't really give an ETA. Okay, so it looks like he also might not be here. Hmm. Looks like I have too much mastery. Yeah, as an outlaw rogue, you wanna avoid as much mastery as you can. I have a very, very little. Minimum amount of mastery. I don't even know which one of these items that I'm wearing it gives me mastery. I think it's the shoulders. But that's here. I have like 25 uh, minutes left and the second boss. I'm playing for plenty of time to wipe on the trash back and the mage up some leaves. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't understand that either. Or if it's more or less. Nice. Nearly the second boss of Plague Fall. Yeah, I feel like if you don't wipe and you wear afterwards, you could be doing just, you could time it just fine. Maybe it looks at the DPS. It was like, you know what? I don't think I could do it. What's the time local? It is 8.43 East Coast for me right now, Tony. 8.43 local. Like, you can see it up here. My rum time would be like 7. My actual time is 8.44. 28 crit, 11 haze, 24 mastery, and 16 versa. Yeah, you kind of want a more crit, more versa. Kind of miss the reforged days. I know, right? Those are the days when you miss it. It looks like they are doing something with uh, crafting though, where you might be able to reforge certain stats and certain gear. Like you might be able to recraft certain items with the secondary with different secondary stats. 
I don't think you'll be able to like recraft raid gear or dungeon gear, but you'll be able to make crafted gear. And if you really want to itemize and optimize your stats, you might be able to. So that could be interesting. And apparently you'll be able to take the items you have and get them in like an upgrade system so you can like use better materials to recraft them again. Which looks interesting. That might be a way of gearing overall. That's a dream, man. Makes you want to roll out. Low tilt KO. F sub. Yo, go for it, honestly. I mean, play, not playing sub, like when you're doing random keys, it's so much easier, like, not having to explain yourself, you just play sub. But if you're playing out, they'll be like, wait, you only play out long? Because it's like the, uh, all this bussin'. It's actually really fun. It's actually really good. Some of the keys that I've done, like the Streets Radio 22, that is outlaw. That's why I think I did sub, sub, and sub just because I was like, oh, I don't know how it's gonna go, but it actually was real easy. But 22 streets, easy. 40 points out of that. Actually, if I get all these done as a 22, that's like 40 points per. So I think that'll be like 140, 80, 120. I'm bad at math. 170. So actually, if I get like one, two, three, four dungeons, or like these ones done at a 22, I'll probably get the most amount of points out of it. That might be really good. I'll probably get a 3k. Sub is way too boring for me, Eddie KY. Yeah, it's not my favorite either. It's fun, it's good. I'm going to craft it soon. First, then anyone like a helm? What are you going to do in a helm? What are you going to make the helm out of? Pretty sure she's coming top. It's like if the run is perfect without wipes on trash, people are like, uh, oh, yeah, are like no, I am out. That's a realistic expectations. Even some of the best groups wipe on trash back sometimes. Oh, true, true. Yeah. I mean, like, there's been a couple of keys, uh, King, where we would just be doing the key. And let's say we wipe on something dumb. We're just like, we don't, we shouldn't be wiping it, but we did. And the group says, okay, we're probably not going to time this. Every single time, like, guildies and whatever, right? When they were just, like, about to abandon the key, I'm like, you know what? Just, just play it as if you can still time it. Don't think about the timer. Play it like you can still time it. And just play it. Just play. Just do your very best. And there's been a couple of times it can be a fame particular where a couple of kids were like, alright, we're, we're wiping this. And I'm like, just just play. Like, you can still time it. Every time, yeah, time did. It was like in the nick of time within a few seconds before the timer's out, but we still timed it. Because, like, if you give up and you don't try, well, you know, of course you're not going to be able to finish it. But if you just play like you still can do it, just don't think about it. Just keep playing and put in maximum effort. You can still make it. You'll, like, you'll be surprised. And we were, like, it looked like it was going to be a dead goner key, but then we did a trash bag before, like, the third I'm boss of uh, Ataldazar, and then we killed the boss, and then went to the main boss, and then we did that really, really clean, that circular thing you got to do with the boss, so we cut it around. That was the uh, potential. For the Venti Outlet build, I'm going to put a lot of time as a worth you think. It's worth to mess around with, for sure. It's a lot of bird score. It's actually really, really fun, and it's really easy to play. It is super, super effective. It's quite bursty. I don't think it's going to be, like, the all-in, like, the best build for Outlaw. I think the better builds right now, the more safe builds, are the Kyrian builds. But if you want to mess around with Venti or Outlaw in PvP, it's super fun. I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, it's really good. But if you're crafting, you need to buy 10 Torghast. Really? Between the eyes memory? Okay, okay. Are you making that for PvP or for PvE, Krazor? Because if you are going to play Outlaw PvE, I think going for Shadow Dust is going to be a little bit stronger. If you're just purely going PvE. Or if you want a Lego that works for everything. You got the Helm for green skin. I mean, that's really, really good, too. Some people craft it on a belt, but if you already have your tier set in everywhere about the Helm, then you can craft it on the Helm just fine. PvE? Okay, so for PvE... You really might want to consider running the uh, shadow, but green skin can work okay too. Green skin is good if you want to use PvP and PvE. It'll be a fine Lego. But if you just want a PvE, Invigorating is a lot better. I'm on now. Damn, bro. I'm playing a new server? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Why is everybody offline? Yo, Vitor, we actually, uh, as we got together, we're missing one. We're missing one. So, uh, we're waiting for that one person to come by. So, we took like a 20 minute break. So, we got about 10 minutes. Hopefully, we'll get 20 in here. That's why everybody's offline. It's because they don't want all their like raid buffs or whatever going to waste. 
Good shot, that's my weapon plus another Lego mask to test them. Yeah, go for it. Like, if you want to craft a bunch of Legos, go for it. Yeah, that pistol shot one is going to be fantastic for PvP. What's up, Laura? How you doing, fam? Yo, Laura, you coming into the AFK stream? What's up, fam? How you doing? We're just AFKing, waiting for everybody else to get here. Uh, we're waiting for a guildie. I don't change the USA, but it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible to swap from uh, region to region. At least for now, maybe in the future. I think maybe you can swap from like regions that are relatively close geographically, like maybe EU and like the Russian region, maybe. 40% base game plus up plus new character. Yeah, yeah, Grazer. I mean, that's what I do. I maintain like two accounts, one for EU, one for NA. Yo, maybe this is where we hop on an AU character and we just do some dungeons as an EU boy. Maybe that's what we do, dude. Maybe we just do some leveling as an EU paladin or something. I don't even know what I would play on EU. Girl Prague Mythic Zymox is a bit tough in the raid evenings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a tough one. That one is a lot of a dance. That one's just a dance with the portals and the tank positional and stuff. EU down, yes. Yo, do we do it? Just hop on. And just do a dungeon real quickly. While we're waiting for guildies. Okay, okay, we'll hop on. We'll hop on EU for like a second. So I'm gonna log off here. I'm gonna hop on EU for a moment. If it doesn't work in your more chain region, yeah. I would just add groups, like I had late night system regardless. Every time the knock calls it's a final key now. Yeah, yeah, I wish so too. I wish so too, my guy. Like they gotta find a way to like uh, change like the punishment for like the keys and stuff. If somebody leaves like super super early in the key, your key doesn't downgrade or something, maybe that'll be nice. Alright, well they'll let me know whenever we are well they'll let me know whenever we are ready to go. I guess wanna <laughs> I guess we're just a random dungeon. What would I even play on the EU man if I did play on the EU? If it did start leveling a character. Wanna run a key on EU? I don't have a, like a proper max level character retour. Oh not God, really. We get across faction, but they can't help our EU boys. I know, right? Feels bad. So this character is like my only level 60 on EU. Literally, they're just for spectator match. I literally can't play this character outside of that. I have a paladin, I have a shaman Dal thick. I don't play a lot of elemental shamans, so I could maybe level Ellie shaman for EU specifically. Because I don't really get to play a lot of Ellie over on the NA. There's a demon hunter, we got bread of mancer. <laughs> I play paladin a lot. I could just make this guy a prop pally and just play prop pally on this thing maybe. Elon Husk, I remember this character, dude. Yo, this guy got a bit of that cool mog too. He got the weapons too. Oh, so you the prop warrior. Run that survival hunter Dal. No, this character cannot actually like run gear. Like this character's key binds are set up for spectator and I literally can't change him. Otherwise, I'll need to change him every second time I do a PVE or anything. If I, this is a character just for spectator. I really should make another character for spectator, but I think you still need a max level to spectate. And dead or die change my mind. Yeah, I was thinking go on dead. I was thinking go prop warrior on dead. Or maybe like arms or fury. Because I have the uh, the old school weapons. The challenge mode weapons on this guy. Yeah, on dead looks really good, honestly. What do you guys think? Should I play Ellie Shaman? If I level on EU? Because I think maybe Shaman? Or maybe like a prop warrior, prop paladin. I'm not sure if I should do one or the other. Probably play a class I don't play I on an A, right? Calm down, dude. Maybe? Ooh. No play DPS? I guess we could do Ellie. Tell me my thick dude. That's the real character. This is the first shaman that I had from back in the day. And I even have the challenge mode weapons on this guy too. Like the mage tower challenge mode skins. But so is Prod? Ellie's Pog, yeah. Ellie's definitely Pog. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can queue for a dungeon or something while we're waiting. I fucked my grenade up again. And hopefully they'll let us know whenever we're good to go. Cause we gotta wait anyway, dude. We gotta wait like at least some more minutes. That's the Grand Master Strict Chaos, dude. You got a plus one. I'd be a little bit sad if you actually can't get enough people tonight. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. You're in the BFA event? That's where this character was. Oh, this is weird. Oh, my key bunnies are all broken. Are they broken for all characters? Okay, this character specific key binds. Maybe I could do it like that.
And I think I need like interface panel. Like P spellbook. Right and then there should be a social one, right? Toggle friends list. Social pain. Pasta. I need you on Priesta. Welcome to my channel, Pasta. <laughs> Sorry, my dude. I fixed our other situation. Okay, chat. It looks like we're going to back on. Looks like we're good. The unfortunate request. So I'm going to have to log off immediately. We're coming back on, boys. Now I apologize to you in advance as well. Hold on, maybe I can at least hearth on this guy. What oh, do I go with a hearth? Lord and L, let's go to Dalaran real quick. It's going to be a shaman in the raid. It's not going to be you. Huge. Well, like, uh, uh, my name like is a big guy, baby. What the? <laughs> what a name, man. I love it. Uh, Great uh, name. Run down a dungeon with a priest? I probably could. Things we Except not right now. Way. It looks like we're hopping back on. It looks like we did get our fill for the 20th, boys. So I'm going to be hopping on in just a moment here. Okay, so oh my god, my my abilities are all messed up. All kinds of screwed up. Uh, here we go. Let's have one more key binding that's screw scuffed. Am I alliance with this thing or horde? I'm alliance with this thing for some reason. Oh, that was weird. What was the alliance of this thing? And it's like, I think there's a shift E as a five? A yeah. yeah. It's so weird. Well, I, I'm just, I'm on a straight, a straight tonight. You a Dalla waiting room? I know, right? I think once Smite gets home, we have you back on Purple Boy and you do strict on Red Boy. I think it's the talents we need. Yeah, by the way, slots. this guy is Alliance, Laura. Do you guys have any Alliance tunes? I know Atha got nightmares. some dudes. Atha got some alts. Just hoping Dragonfly to add some to punish players leaving early. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping they'll add something like that. I I, I don't doubt they will. I'm surprised they didn't. Alliance Dal, I know, I know. I guess if I played my Paladin, then if I played the prop Pally, or if I played the, uh, what is it, the Warrior, then I'd be able to play Horde. But yeah, this guy's Alliance. I guess that says everything, yeah? I shouldn't play that. The Pali is kind of sort of set up. I have quite a few other characters available to help. Yeah, because Athamid is Alliance, so I guess that would work too, yeah? Remember one year, remember when I first started while it was early TVC? It made me an Orc Warrior, and the Wrath came out of one of the dead because of a Ride of Living Dead? Night of the Living Dead, what is that? A movie? Or like, dude, was that a passive called Night of the Living Dead? Yo, Cora, my man, thank you for becoming a member for a year, my guy! Thank you so much, my dude! Favorite class? I guess a rogue? Oh yeah, definitely rogue. Definitely rogue. Alright chat, we're gonna be hopping back on an A. <laughs> it was fun just like a look at the EU side of things for like a second. But it looks like we have 20 people, so we should be able to raid tonight. Hopping back on. Looks like we still have a guy in transit, but otherwise it should be good. For the most part. It'll be kind of weird if we called off tonight though. But I'll look into it. Alright, sound good, sound good. Tar man? Okay, okay. Got about a minute. Return of the Night of the Living Dead. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me look it up. Return of the Night of the Living Dead. Uh, oh, okay. It's a movie. All right. Okay, I'll peep it sometime. I'll look into it. I just want to last dungeon done so I can get the rating. Hell yeah, King. Hell yeah. I hope it goes pretty fast, man. Yo, do Gambit. Kill for like a random Gambit. They're usually pretty quick. Yo, they got a promise? Sounds good. I'll definitely give it a go sometime around. Be 
We got a talk sham. This nocturne is actually just a bitch. Our best, you only got a 231. Has it been the keys? It's not terrible, apparently. Um, there's an outer world that's done a 26 event here. Like, none of the covenants are really all that bad, but they're not really all that advantageous for outlaw either. None of them are going to be like a make it or break it. Apparently, Necrolord and event here were able to do a plus 26, even though Kirin is like the more popular build. Event here and Kirin can do just fine. Although, the event here, I think maybe the he went event here for. No, no mind. I was gonna say maybe you want Venthyr because it's a Venthyr dungeon, but nope. You want Venthyr in a Necrotic Wake. Maybe for more single target damage because it's tyrannical? Go and kill spree, Ghost of Strike, Anima Exhaust. And I think play Nadja Soulbind? Yeah, Nadja with familiar predicaments. Yeah, I think he just maybe went more single target with the beating. He went green skin? Yo, what the Ghost is striking green skin. Okay, that's a weird combo. I don't think that should work properly. I feel like that guy maybe trolled. Maybe trolled himself a little bit. Yeah. Sympathy's in your guild sounds familiar to him. Super catch? No, no, no. It's a, say, a similar name, but not super. No, it's a different kind of guy. No, this is super catch. Super tease is a whole another person. Yeah, no, not related. Not even close. That would have been cool, though. I don't even know what server super plays on. Probably Liden. Like a lot of people on Horde play Illidan, but there's also Tyg, there's also like other random ass little servers that people play on that I never heard before. The like KJ, people play KJ maybe even. Vash. Like everybody has like their own little server to play on. I think it used to be that everybody were on one big server, but nowadays people just play like on the server with like their guilds or their friends or whatever it is. It'd be like a server that has the best MS for them. Usually. Am I the one hopped on? Because the timer's done. Finishing here in five or so, then home in ten. If the Estes are close to home. Okay, okay. So maybe this might is going to be taking a little bit longer. Maybe? I don't even know. I'm trying to figure out what are we doing. Okay. Uh, it should be on. No, nothing too crazy talk. Hold on. I'll give you all the stuff in here in just a sec. Alright, so Decrep, hop on your DK. My right, boys, get logged in. Get rolling. Okay, chat, so everybody's trying to come back on, but somebody uh, has like internet issues now. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Gotta hit the God's, God's, God's work for the WoW community. Oh my goodness, my man. Let's give them strong hand support till 10.0 and beyond. Yo, can we get a Corey in the chat, boys, for being a beauty? Thank you so much for the five buck, my man. Yeah, I appreciate ya. Yo, thank you so much, dude. Give it a strong support while we AFK and wait for us to get ready for Andy. You, I'm so sorry about this, boys. Sometimes this doesn't normally happen. Normally we're here and we're on Anduin, slapping him around, going for them wise. But now it looks like we're taking a bit of a break. We're having some uh, issue with the roster, trying to get the people together. But yo, can we get a hat Sakura? We've been a goddamn beauty, my man. Thank you so much, my guy. Appreciate ya. Thank you so much. That's super, super generous, you, my man. Five bones for just sitting here and AFK. Dude, I like hanging out with all of you boys, man. This is like, when, when stuff like this happens where you just got to AFK and then you got to wait, just chatting with your boys and hanging around, man. That's what's my favorite, honestly. You guys are my favorite people to hang out with. Good to be back, brother. Glad to be part of the Rogue Rogue Brotherhood. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, if you got any questions on Rogue, man, feel free to ask. We still got to do some twos together. I'll play a healer. You can play a rogue. I can give us some pointers. But honestly, in most cases, it's just a, it's just kind of one of those things where you just, it's like riding a bike. You just got to get on it, start cycling. At first, it's going to get awkward and weird, but then the more you cycle, the better you get at it kind of deal. Especially if you play Kyrian Outlaw, it's like you don't have to worry about coolness so much. You just aggression, aggression, aggression the whole time. 
<laughs> like, literally, cooldowns don't matter for Outlaw. It's kind of nuts. It's really, really fun. Uh, chain harvest I don't play with my healer, play. and he's so used to playing like a composition um, where they go for a setup. Uh, like, he usually will play a guy, and they have to go for a setup, and then get across CC. And with me, I'm just like, it's like, tell me when you're going. I'm like, I'm kind of playing, I'm kind of already going. I'm just constantly going. <laughs> it's like, are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'll just drink an invasion. Okay. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I got evasion back up. It's like been 30 seconds. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, honestly, like, once you start playing it, it's going to be so easy. You want to look into it? It's a bit of a tough pick. Both, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both are really fun. DPS and Druid peels and heals. Dude, Druid is fantastic. You got Roots, you got Typhoon, you got Ursaws, you got Stunned, you got Off Healing. Like, Druid is a fantastic spec if you just want to have, like, tools in your hands at all times. It's a, gr it's a great play style for sure. I think it's, Druid even plays better in PvP, like Pharaoh specifically. I feel like it plays better in PvP than it does in PvE. Like the whole, like pulling your energy, I don't think, I don't even have to think about it in PvP because in PvP there's naturally going to be downtime. It's like whenever you want to go, you have energy for it. But whenever you're not trying to go, you're just naturally pulling. You're doing other things besides like DPSing. So it's like in PvE, it feels like there's a lot of downtime. In PvP, it's like a perfect amount. I've decided, since I don't have friends in you, I'm playing the game of things, I'll change the US in January. One of the things that hit, uh, hit me uh, is my mounts, mods, and characters are gonna miss some really crazy art. My man, I mean, if that, dude, I, I wouldn't commit. I would just try making like a. What I would do, okay. Krazor. Because so there's a uh, MS difference between NA and EU. There's definitely an MS difference. Yeah. Like the video in but um, make yeah, like a like starter account things, so. for US. Because you could do that on like the Battle.net app if you go to like your game section of Battle.net. So you could make a starter account there. and you can make a US account just to um, see the latency. Just so you can feel the latency difference. Because if that's position, something like you cannot you game with, with, if it's like, you know what, that's just... I can't do it. So it's just going to drive you up a wall because I am a big stickler for latency future. stuff. If it uh, doesn't work for you, like you're not going to end up yeah, playing for long, I feel like. I would do that first. And also, uh, and I mean, you could always like maybe relevel the character on a more populated server. You mother welcome Jonas who firefight duels, by the way, on your rogue. Let's go, man. I have not been streaming yeah, since Legion. Yeah, what's up, Largo? My oh, man, dude, we've been just kind of AFK in an end room for like a good 30 minutes. Right, We're waiting to get our boys together. Yeah. We're trying to get all 20 people in. Uh, and we've been a little bit of a slow one today. Yeah, How you doing, buddy, Largo? Hope you have a good one. Yo, you excited um, about Dragonflight, my man? Do you excited about 9-2? 9-2-5, uh, uh, I mean? It's our account. I had about 60 to 70 minutes. Well, it's not bad at all. Yeah, 60 to 70 is not bad. What server are we connecting to? Less than 100 is all right. Dude, on a melee, less than 100 is fantastic. Okay. Yo, um, Jeff, my man, with the time balls, yo, not even a message, just like, my man, can I get a hat like Jeff up. in the chat, Jeff Mitchell in the chat, show an appreciation for all the donor, my man, thank you so much, dude, for the tan bones, that's really generous of you, my guy, thank you, thank you, hopefully we'll get started, man, hopefully we'll get started, I feel bad getting a tan bones, while we just AFK in the boss room doing nothing, thank you so much. So what? I will be back Wait, here. that's you? Spork? What the? Right. Spork, you don't got a donut. And what the hell? But I, now I, feel, I got you, brother. Dude, now I feel... <laughs> clear I didn't realize that was you. What the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this like, is this one of those things know, where you can slip, slip, slip a dollar way. from we under the underhand? It's like, yo, can I get a promo quick? Can I get the easy promo? <laughs> can I get the good word in the in the trial feedback? Yo, thank you so much, Spork. I appreciate it, my guy. Uh, Appreciate you. If there's no one near us for you to clear yeah. with, <laughs> the spot that people So now apologize to you. Like, sorry for waiting ten minutes, and you're in this raid too. I watched for a long time. Figured time to support it. I mean, if you want, um, that's also, optional, you honestly. Clear, like, per clear range, personally, just optional. Optional. Don't move into melee and just totally just optional. Lane. You know, as long as you watch it and join the streams on vids, man, that's all that matters to me. Uh, but it's all totally 100% right. optional. Now it's gonna be awkward it's if for some reason, like let's say, if for some reason you end up going to another shit. guild, man, you're just like, you know what, I'm done with these random uh, idiots. I'm gonna go to another but... guild. <laughs> That's gonna be a little awkward. You're always welcome you to streams. Chat about that and adjust as necessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like if, if you guys, but hey, man, hope um, you enjoy the uh, progression with us. Like, Hopefully, we'll get some Andrew like fairly quickly. Like, I'm doing all right. Graduate from high school in my absence. Let's go, dude. That's huge. Think about getting a PC set up and get a while ago. You kept the interest in the game, so I was talking for Mop. Really? Yo. Mop was slap. Dude, Mop was slap. Mop slap. Mop was amazing. 
really good for PvP. We go way back, radio. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. I had no idea. Yeah, Euro. I mean, Euro is a dinosaur, dude. He knows everybody that played way back in the day. That's cool, though. That's really cool. I think we needed like another tank in our roster because with us losing an enhancement shaman, it was a little bit weird. But Strick getting Strick off up and running, like he's, you know, it's a pretty decent spot. That would be perfect. He just needs a little bit more gear and just more practice on that thing because he's supposed to be an insane single target. And I don't know how his damage has been. I don't know if it's a big to be on the same as roll, but probably be, should be able to finish this pretty easily. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, Largo. That's awesome to hear, my guy. You excited for Dragonflight? Dude, you excited for the talents returning, bro? Dude, I am so high for talents returning. Is there anything I hate when I get loot and need a meal or anyone else get it? Need it? Is there, uh, if there's anything I hate, it's when I get loot, need a meal or anyone else needs it? I mean, sometimes it happens, right? Pretty much has the same It'd be like that sometimes. Last night, except Pasta will have a little bit of a learning curve with second group there. Uh, and... This will try to be on stream. Lucy How hype I am? Dude, that's awesome. For now. Happy to hear that. So the same group. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. John Depp hit uh, beat hit Amber. Right. What, Richard? Huh? Some... Wait, is that something you're on trial that we haven't heard? Dude, I've been keeping up a well, little bit with the whole trial the... thing. I haven't commented much about it on the stream. I don't know if I should start so, now. Let's... Yeah, hold on. Some this got some fun tonight, bro. That sounds good, my man. Thank Yo. Well, let's hope we get, let's get some good progression, <laughs> uh, Spork, on Andy, yeah? Let's get actual good prog, man. We should support, though. Yeah, it is interesting for sure, Laura. I think it's a it's a quagmire completely. It's just all over the place. It's like it's so weird because it's like a real serious trial about like serious issues, but it's like the way that it's being conducted and it's ran. I can't help but find it entertaining. I don't know why, but like it's in like a weird morbid way, right? It's like it's real issues that they're all on about, but it's like the way that it's going about it and the things we found out about it so far. It's like, huh? Okay. Yo, Cora, my man. Holy, 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 holy. <laughs> Let's go, dude. 21 months, yo! Yeah, Big 21, man. You're legal now. You can drink. Yo. Let's do kids this weekend. You want to blood DK in Rook? Sounds good. Blood DK, we're set it out, kit it out. Ready to go, my guy. I would ask my man, do you remember the. I was like, yeah, I do remember Red Days, dude. Yeah, Jacko. I still have Jacko out of the reality, man. Jacko and um, Fargo, Fergo, I forget what was, uh, the other dude's name, but Jacko, I remember, man. I remember Jacko. Dude, last time I talked to Jacko, it was doing like CSGO, like trying to become, trying to go pro. I wonder if he's still doing that. But I do remember those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, those were the days, man. Hanging out with the boys, making some yeah, bread memes. Scarier. It was amazing. Yeah, so you've been around for a while then, huh? In the early days of the channel. When we first started streaming on YouTube. Free spread for marks. Oh god. Oh sorry. You know, normally it's me and the uh, super in the back, or staff rather. The group up. I missed my uh, trinket by the way completely. I'm a little sad about that. So it's gonna be a little bit for me to get used to uh, carrying again, boys. I feel like every time I play Kyrian, I like unlearn a portion of it. I legit just unlearn a part of the playstyle. I don't know what's wrong with me, but every single time it, it happens every time. What's your brother's name again? Still my contact? Uh, Samuel? Yeah, I think I talked to him the other day. That's even like Ryan. Which Ryan isn't actually my brother, but he's like a best friend of mine. I don't know which one you mean. E. We know we didn't get it downstairs. No? I think mine got pulled early. Unforge. Oh, was it got pulled uh, early? Let's keep going just so Pasta can see face, uh, second down group and so Doc gets some red time, but clearly we're going to be swapped in intermission. Kingsborn 2. Okay, we're going to be dead here in a bit. Defco, yeah, Defco, Defco. I'm so bad with names, man. I'm so bad with names, I don't hide it. I always tell people I'm really, really bad with names. Hmm, I was wondering the GSS and I see your pod. Unfortunately. 
Oh god. Good grip. Finish the battle. Oh. Our damage seems a little bit slower least. here. Actually, no, it's not. We're bothered at 10 minute mark. So we're chilling. Dead. Looks like they finished a lot of the casts. Right. Okay, so wait, tonight wait. might be a very, very interesting night. I don't know if we're going to be able to get much prog because our roster might be a very, very different this evening, but it's okay. I haven't heard that name Ryan in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then almost three years, I remember I got hacked. Had a class of four. Oh, four gore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, what? I remember four gore. You got hacked with four gore thing? With a four gore account? Oh, it's been a bit then, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Because I, I was wondering why is Korra now instead of 4 Gore? Oh, it's just weird. It's all televised. It is weird, yeah, because it's basically their dirty laundry, Laura. Just aired out, but they kind of have to in order for the court proceedings, you know? But I imagine, like, there would just be in the normal court proceedings, there would just be no cameras and maybe it reported on, like, local news at most. But, like, everybody's interested because of celebrity. So it's just, it's, it's weird for sure. It's weird, but I feel like. I almost feel like it's okay to be entertained, you know what I mean? Because they start movie actors. I don't know, maybe it's not okay to be entertained by it. It's like a morbid way. It sounds bad. <laughs> I can't help it though, bro. I can't help it. Yeah, I do remember the breadism. Uh, if I got a setup, get wow, I'm probably rolling it first. A DK again. DK was my main and mob watching arena visits. Yeah, they do. Yeah, right now, definitely it's incredibly good. Great tier set, good double Lego combos, frost craps on everybody. DK Unholy, it's got a lot more damage nowadays. It used to be kind of bad at the start of Shadowlands, but it's really picked up. Tier set is amazing. Yeah, I got the fish through uh, for 12 uh, sucks. I had to start the email. Yeah, 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 I got my money back. I had to charge you email and everything. Yeah, that's unfortunate, man, but it's all good. That's unfortunate, though. But at least you got everything still set up. So at least you're like back in business and you didn't really lose much. Just a, just a uh, name swap and you're good. I think you're playing Wrath for sure. For sure. Yeah, I, I mentioned on stream multiple times before that I'm interested in Wrath. Definitely have interest in Wrath of Lich King. Wrath will be super fun. I think it'd be really fun to play with the community too. I don't know if I'll play EU or NA or what. But I definitely want to play Wrath. I'm also thinking maybe like play uh, with EU boys. I think it'd be an, an experience for sure. Might be a little laggy, but it's okay. I think it still work out pretty well. Oh, okay. <gasps> Good thing they stopped for a second. Otherwise, it would have been bad. I keep messing up my trinket, by the way. I keep losing value on that. I also just lost my roll of the bones buff. Dude, I'm pretty bad at this whole carrying outlaw thing. It's a lot stronger, but I'm just really, really bad at it. I feel like I was doing kind of okay as this playstyle during the Hoovium, and then I just kind of lost it. I was doing okay for a while. It's almost like I unlearned everything that I knew. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. That's one of the things like is like getting back on the bike kind of deal. Once I practice it a little bit, it will be in a good spot. Because I remember like getting it so perfect on the Huvium was great. So Venthyr it is. I mean honestly I might have to go back to Venthyr. Venthyr was a lot easier for like Venthyr is generally better on single target. Okay, let's get reps up top. But just here. carrying is what a lot of people play because it is smooth. Once you get once you, once you learn once you like get used to it, it can be a lot smoother. I'm gonna hit this guy with a slow a little early. Stun him. You gotta walk back a little. Get some damage on his head. Too. Nice. Please. Get us up. Need one dark on me. Bring us up. Bye. It's gonna get a second, so sadly. Oh, good, all good, all good. Uh, yeah, they're dead. Oh, the barrier, too. Oh, we messed up pretty hard. Okay. 
Weird. Die real quick? We don't have anything different DPS wise up top from last. Reset time. it? Nice. We gotta uh, that damn a bit. I don't know the YouTube account, but I lost the account info and name was uh Dr. Boom Boom. Uh, that was four or five years ago. I was watching the stream again and track with you again. Uh, hey yeah, my guy. Fortunate. That's awesome. How did I do there? I did okay. I don't know. Was, was it better as a I don't even know, was it better as a Venthyr? It definitely felt a lot easier as a Venthyr. Any mount farming Dala? Me? I don't really do too much mount farming. I do want to get some Zerath Mortis mounts though. I need to figure out how to do the whole like protoform, like yeah, crafting yeah, I mounts even, I, thing. I, I want to make the wolf mount, I, I want to make the bird mount. Anything, so. Basically everything but a wasp oh, mount, dude. I don't want to ride a wasp. Hell no. Yo Cora, my man! Oh my god. How much of a DPS gain is it to Kyrian versus Venthyr? Cause that's all that's yep. stopping me from full-blooded gearing the road. Minimal? Less yeah, 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 honestly. Okay. Honestly, it's very, very Where minimal difference. Yo, can we get to ask the Cora in chat? Boy, show an appreciation! Oh, no, my man! I feel like the only Covenant Cora between like the Kyrian and Venthyr, right, very, very little difference. On the only one that actually makes a difference is maybe... Necrolord because of spikes, now. the fact uh, that it yes. splits, and that's more finishes yeah, for you to cycle through an so AOE. It feels really fast paced, like really smooth. That's the only one that really gonna make it a big make a big difference. Target. Besides that, yeah, it's all it's very, very work. similar. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yo, can, can we get a hashtag core in chat, here. boys? For another five bones, my man! I will be directly. Yo, since my item of little gear or faded mythic raids in season four. It's 304. Does that mean plus a 15 in season four award like 304 gear? I think so, King. Yeah, I think so. I don't so think we, anybody's ever got to test um, what kind of gear can you get at the end of your Great Vault. I feel like by next reset, next Wednesday, we will know from anybody that ran keys this week in PTR. Then we'll have a better idea, yeah, but right now it's kind of like up in the air, unless Blizzard like posted themselves. Well, I'm sure we'll find out on Wednesday, because Wowhead is going to like probably get somebody to do a 15 or something and be like, yo, what'd you get out of your vault? Just to like test what kind of loot can you get out of it. Cause I'm sure they're gonna test like, hey, can you get like the new dungeon loot, or are you gonna get like the normal Shadowlands loot out of it? I'm sure it's supposed to be new dungeon loot. Sorry, so All around there, every boss will be on plus Venti, yeah, Kyrian, or for money. Uh, would Venti, Kyrian, or for money? It can, yeah. I mean, a Venti, there's a, a, a Alderog does done a 26 as a Venti, like but an Alderog never done a tw uh, 26 as a Kyrian. Like a Kyrian Outlaw Rogue hasn't done 26. A Kyrian Aventyr Outlaw has. Oh, the Crop Preserver? Yeah. Be in the barrier, please. Right for Mark. Yeah, I don't know how I did there. I'm pretty sure it was bad. Good buff though. Please, quick. Trying to. You should be okay, right? Stars in fucking places. Stars in a weird spot. I know, I know, I know, I know. Ugh, yeah, stars in definitely weird spot. Do we cover deaths with stars? Might have. Yeah, no bottom group two, kings one, two. We also missed some of the ads down below. We're super unfortunate. God. All right, so it's settled. 9.2.5 Venthyr Outlaw Rogue. Let's go, Bois. Hell yeah, dude. Venthyr, strike hard. Strike fast. Let's go. No mercy. Spread for Huge. Yeah, give him the big old fucking Venthyr Burst, man. Let's go. Huge Venthyr Burst. Can we get another answer, Cora, boys? 
Oh my god, we're dead. Unfortunate. Damage, we need help with that. Yo, can we get another hashtag, Cora, boys, for five more bones, man? Let's go, dude. Oh my god, my man. Just making it rain. Thank you so much, my guy. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, 9 to 5 went there. I think it's going to be pretty decent, well, honestly. Be. I imagine with like better gear, like we wouldn't even need haste anymore. Like I feel like maybe going haste and going for alacrity right might there. be a little bit like too much. Going more versa, going for a big crit. Went there might be huge. Bro, spending my week. Yeah, I love this energy. Oh my god. That. <laughs> Yo, let's go. go. Yeah, I got to get better at this whole thing, man. I got to figure out what I'm doing wrong. I might just go vent here. Kirin is kind of like the go-to, but Venthyr felt so much easier. If you need me to, uh, so you much easier. Happen, you know. Oh, that would work too. Yeah, hold on. We'll keep trying though. I think I'll just keep going. I feel like the Venthyr, like the burst is what really mattered. And then it's like downtime was not that bad. For like Kirin, the, uh, I feel like the downtime real yeah. Orexia. Just not having up some of the like bosses destroys my damage. Talk. I might need to have to peep at like what I was doing damage wise yesterday compared to a Kyrian yeah, I got it. and I see the differences. The quick recap on the changes of all three raids unlocked for Outlaw. More room for improvement. Uh, right. Quick recap uh, on the changes to uh, all three uh, raids unlocked for Outlaw. Um, so we're going to be fantastic, I think, in Castle Nathria. There's a lot of cleave in that fight, like a two target cleave. So we'll be pretty good on that. Bargas fight. Trickling is going to be okay. Then what else is there? The the ad fight in Nerva is gonna be not bad at either. In Castle Nathria. I think it's Lady Nerva, right? Council of Blood is gonna be okay. Sledgefist was not a bad fight. Stone Legion lost a cleave. Artificer, not really a cleave fight. Sun King for sure, yeah. So it's gonna be a pretty good tier here. Sanctum is mostly single target, but actually our single target, like full single target build, is not bad at all. Our covenant's critical only a high tier raids. Some depends on the covenant. Some covenants just feel better and play better. Like uh, Night Fae Feral Druid. Yes, you can play Necrolord, you can play Kyrian, you can play Venthyr, but Night Fae is just so much better. And also, like Night Fae is a warlock that gives you mobility. The, the other covenants don't really provide the same. I mean, maybe Venthyr with a port, but like Night Fae, like instant movement compared to the Venthyr cast movement. I feel like Night Fae is just easier to play, it does a lot of damage, it just makes it. Yeah, it's just easier to play, <laughs> basically. You can play Kyrian too, as the Destro as of recently. But like, there are some Covenants that are just a little bit better. There are a handful of specs like that, like... Like for a fight like Anduin, with grips are necessary, playing Necrolord is a must-have. But when you don't want to grip things, you can play Night Fate just fine. So it used to be, you only have to play, you only play Death Knight as a Necrolord every single fight if you want to damn. Nowadays, like with Double Legos, it's really a lot closer and it's more a question of utility. So, again, only a handful of classes like Feral Druid, I'd say, is the one that's like, you kind of want to stay Night Fae. This is the only really solid option. Everything else is kind of uh, okay, but not amazing. Like, not bad, but also not great. I guess the best way to put it. If that makes any sense. But nowadays, yeah, there's not as much of that anymore. It used to be a lot like that at the very, very beginning, especially when you couldn't switch Covenants. There are still some of those though, where it's like you, you we would love Spare more options, but you really if you you can't if unless you like just want to play the playstyle just for funsies. I <laughs> yeah. what, 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 That's my fault. That, I ran into him. I don't know. I ran into Josh. That's my fault, Josh. Yeah. I sprinted right off the edge, but damn. A bit charge shows 304, might just be Blizz. It could be. Castle Nathan drops, yeah, it drops a high atom of gear. Yeah, so Chris, there are some covenants that are a lot stronger, like um, like Kirin Warrior in PvP could be really good because you can lock people down, or the Bandit could be really, really good. Stuff like that, you know? Like, some covenants are, like, there's one business slot, but, like, there's, nowadays there's a lot more options, a lot more opportunities to play, like, other things. A lot more opportunities to play what you like or what you prefer. And it won't be trolling. Like, I think maybe, like, Paladins even. I remember Paladins used to be only Kyrian, but now, like, Necrolord slaps in PvP. Night Fake can kind of sort of work. Depending on the utilities that you bring, what depending on what playstyle you want to do. I think Kyrian rest of Shaman, even the rest of Shaman too. Like, you can play Kyrian, you can play Night Fake, you can do all that stuff, so it's fine. Wait, am I free? Yeah, 
It's all that. How much do you need for 291? So yeah, so you need for 291, you'll need 5150 soul ash. You need like 1700 cinders and 2000 cosmic flux. Yeah, so I would just uh, spam out like a nine Torgas. Just something that's fast, easy. It, just do the easiest version of Torgas that can give you enough resources. There we go. Cora got exact numbers. That's I think that's, that should be correct. Thanks, sir. Well, Laura is the one helping you with that, not yeah, really me. Laura helped out a ton with that 50 50. Still drop, oh, 285, yeah, yeah. Layer 9's 9 times for about 2 3 hours. Because Layer 9's can last like 5 minutes if you go fast enough. You just kind of sprint over all the, all the immediately to the door. Depending on the tour guess you get, like though. But if you just sprint towards the door as soon as possible, uh, it's fairly quick. No, we'll that better. All right, so we're gonna be doing a switch. We got uh, Mr. Smite back in, I think. Is this where I can go? Maybe get myself out for a second. So Josh and the Crypto Fire are being swapped. Looks like they're trying to get Smite back in. Yo, is this where I swap to Venthyr? Chat, I think this is where I swap to Venthyr, man. I think it's where I swap. I'm gonna summon myself real quick. I'm gonna go swap because I don't need to do anything. I just need to swap my com covenant and we're box. good to go. <laughs> Somebody click, please. Oh, shut up. Click, please. Please That's click. Yes. Okay. Matrix, oh, run in. Yours or mine? Grab my Venthyr. Yes. Whoever's. Take the port because <laughs> nice. we don't need to do anything else. Real quick with chat. Real quickly, Definitely okay? Mine. Mine is sensitive. We gotta go back to Venti because Venti seemed to do a little bit better for this fight than Kirin. I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm just not doing Kirin well for PVE at all. PvP, Kirin's fantastic. PvE, I'm just feeling Venthyr, man. I'm just feeling Venthyr. Okay. We'll see. Hold on. Oh, there we go. It says can only use outside, but. It... Right, let's get Am I outside? Go. And go. There we go. There we go. Now, what's it? Even scale down layer nines of them, even if you're 250. Uh, two layer three, uh, layer thirties with like 270 gears more than enough. You won't know numbers at once. I guess so. Yeah, I guess it depends how you do it. I feel like as a rogue, you can definitely do like some of the higher layers because you can just skip everything. Thank you. You can literally just stealth pass all the mobs, fight the main door guy, and then move on to the next room. But like, if you do not have a stealthy class, actually, wait, isn't Crazer? Isn't aren't you a rogue? Wait, you can actually stealth. But you might be able to go like layer tens and stuff. But layer 9s are really quick, generally. Can you buy the bag of Cosmic Flux instead of farming in two? You can, yeah, if you got a lot of Cosmic Flux on the side. Yeah, it's definitely worth it if you really don't want to spend any time in Torghast. Okay, double checking, triple checking, I'm Nadja. Do that in the middle of the okay, room. we're good. I'm doing it. I'm I hope. Do it. Oh, yeah? I hope. Oh, wait, talents too. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. Huge. Dude, I gotta play more Kirin out for PvP. If you have a tank, you can well, chain pull everything my, into the floor. Uh, yeah, as a tank, you definitely can. Yeah, 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 for sure. I just know that I remember, like, hey, if you're a stealthy class or it has, like, a, you know, like a hunter with camo or mage with a Viz, you basically want to run as far as you can in Viz, uh, run to the roll boss, nuke him down, pop everything, and then move on. As a yeah, selfie, I feel like really it's easy, but as a tank, yeah, just pull everything okay. to the door boss, pop all the cooldowns, pop rotate defenses, you're getting hit. Nothing should ever kill you. Did you guys, did you guys find the mind goblin? But also, if you can get yourself some decent uh, buffs. You got home these nuts? Funny. You guys, joke. Not again, the crap, please. Can you tell me when the crap? Who? Me? Hey! I'm in fifth grade with you people. Like, you guys are weaves, you have corny jokes. Oh, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the Yu Gi Oh cards at this point. Oh, yeah, ground me! L plus, you have corny jokes. Yeah, yeah. You're a weave. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Plus, you have a Yu Gi Oh card collection. Oh, God. Spread out, dude. Is I, this feel, a... I feel fucking attacked. Is this a bad term to mention? I have about 2,300 magic cards behind me. Yeah. Yes. I have the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards behind me. I still have my fucking blue-eyed white dragon deck. Oh, huge. Things more than one. Ah, uh, weird, 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 weird. Weird flex away. No. Listen, it's a modern deck. Uh, it's really good. 
I got all the hand traps. Yeah, but what copy of the card was it the like starter deck one or the actual real one? I've got DDS. Yeah. Holy Yo, Core with another one? Yo. Zelda Advanced Boy Burst is no No. Difference. Yeah, it's a different story. It's a 20k DPS guaranteed. I can God, barely dude. play. What's going on? I'm dying. I don't think I should be dying that fast, but we are. But yeah, notice the damage is noticeable as uh, Venthyr. It's so I'll noticeable. <laughs> I bleed for the homies. Kill it! You can pull us up. I need start. Kill it! Oh, no. So the boss caps out at 50 stacks. Good to know. But we were slow as fuck down there. What the heck happened? I was no. seated. Yo, can we get another okay. Azure Cora, boys? Five more bones, bones my man! Thank you so much, my dude! <laughs> Point two. That's I got seated immediately. I was in quarter because of a weeb. No, boys, I, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that had Yu Yu car collection. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about nothing. I literally went to. I had a Yu Yu car collection, and me and my twin used to go to at least like uh, local Yu Yu tournaments, bro. That was literally my life, man. Yo, Yu Gi slabs, dude. I don't care what anyone says. I know all the kids got into Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z. I was like, yo, my, my, you guys want shit. Don't even worry about nothing. <laughs> they just boomers. They don't understand. Bunch of boomers. Okay, we live? Yo, we lived. Went, went through one pull. We live what and we live to that? see the boss. Coralius, holy shit. <laughs> you actually scared the absolute shit out of me. All right, boys. We're saving Bye. CDs and we got to truck down the boss. We can truck down the ad right and after. I think I'd ask is what's up for Venti Outlaw. Okay, you want more haste. As an outlaw, shit. Venti, you want a little bit more I haste. Moved I think I second. don't remember what the breakdown for how much haste exactly you want. Like, I don't remember if there's a limit. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to be very dead, but. Only 50 percent. Oh, yeah, we're dead. Oh, my, oh my God. God we're just so dead. This <laughs> seems fine to me. Jesus. What is our buff? Like I've been up, dude. 70? Right, yeah. So we we missed ads somewhere. Damage, we missed yeah. ads. We missed yeah. healing ads or something. So haste versus crit. Yeah. Haste versus crit. The only way I can really know, I mean, one like, way I can tell when I don't need more haste is when the sims say, uh, I think like about like at um, 15, 16, 17, 18% or so. It's like, okay, don't need more haste. Start putting to crit and versa. That's the only way it really knows like when the sims tell me like, no, go the other direction. That's the only way I'd be able to tell. Because I, I remember the breakpoint used to be like 14 back in BFA. Because I remember like for the whole, all, every single like season, every single raid tier, it was always 14. So I just remember that number. I don't know if that number has changed since though. Since finding me. Yeah. I guess I messed up pretty hard. Yeah. I think we're just maybe like group one did not have so the, uh, the uh, ads healed. Or didn't kill all their ads down below. The group two got everything down. At least we got them killed. But we'll see. Do -do -do -do. So who is different tonight than the other night? Lucy's here, so we got more warlocks than normal. We got Izzo, we got Orc, we got South Super, that's fine. Euro, we're missing a hunter. But it's swapping off for a warlock, which is okay. Dazzling and a different healer. That's really about it. All right, so at least if I want to play a rotation properly with damn haste. Would you be King uh, versus Kyrian? Not gonna uh, lie, the burst from Vith is a lot better than Kyrian's sustain. Sustain is, uh, I think it's about the same. I think Kyrian's a bit more of a sustain fight, yeah, but Kyrian definitely singing, values yeah, um, uptime. Go, boy, so zone. with Kyrian, you want to be on the boss the whole time. With Venti, you have a lot of burst at the very beginning, but then it's like, let's say if you don't have good uptime, as long as you do the most amount of damage inside of your burst window, like for the most part, you should be golden. As long as your burst window is clean, then you're alright. So with Venti, you're like, if let's say you use your burst and you're beating your people away from the boss, well, majority of the damage was done during your burst. 
As long as you didn't like scuff it up. Spread it out. With Karen, you kind of want to be constantly up on a boss, constantly touching the target, or if you, you have, a, or you lose too much damage. So I think that would be the biggest difference between the two. Is one values up to him and the other not nearly as much. I'd say in a way, Ventir is a little bit easier, in my opinion. But I've been playing Ventir for far longer than Kyrian. I feel like rotational Kyrian can sometimes feel faster. But also more complicated. Oh, what's up? That's a damage I like to see. It's not They're just different. I do like Ventios recently though. I feel like I do better at that though. Okay, do I want to save cooldowns for the downstairs phase? I should have probably popped into the boss, but on this point I'm just gonna save it. Ready. Gonna get King's Morn. So you mess mechanics up as Ventio more forgiving. I'd say Ventio's a bit Ventio's uh less forgiving if you mess up your burst. Like your burst has to be perfect every single time. So mechanics can disturb the burst, but mechanics that don't allow you to like hit the boss for curing are a lot more punishing. So it all is situational in the end. Oh god, that's really close. Break him out. Bring us out. I have no stun. Hopefully that dad dies. I hope he died. Did it die though? Did he die? die? You on? There's a yeah. lot of or not a lot of energy. Yeah, we're so dead. What do you guys miss downstairs? We missed at least one healing right? Okay. Like uh Okay. Oh, not like in the world. Watch some more thanks to the team guys. Yeah, thanks so much come by crazy. Appreciate it, my man. Two bags of dicks. I love bags of dicks. What flavor? I always go with chocolate dicks or cherry dicks. Oh, that was aggro. They have a new one too, they have a bag of micro penises. <laughs> okay, we're dead. They, they at least yeah, we're not having like the full buff. 79% right, damage reduction. Dude, anything below 90% damage reduction hurts. Absolutely just ridiculously hard hitting. So what's our damage on Andy? I feel like with all these warlocks it might be a little bit harder to top it. Yeah, my damage could be a little bit higher. What about the add? Hmm. Do they see pick up still no, it must be pledged to carry Okay, I was gonna say, do they see pick up still work even though I'm not carrying? I guess he eat him out of the way. Clean my bags a little bit. Another advantage with a uh, flagellation Venthyr is that funnel damage, which is very, very valuable in PVE. Like in Mythic Plus, plus situations, there's usually one mob in that pack. Then you to die before everybody else. It's like the scariest. So you end up putting tree. flagellation on that guy, and whoever you hit, that guy will take a little bit more damage. That's how I saw their grip. <laughs> so why is Kieran overall better at the moment? It's just easier to play. It's shit. faster pace. It gives a lot of cooldown reduction. So just like it's uh, you got lucky. It can be faster, and it doesn't require as much haste on gear. So you can just go as much crit versa, which makes I think gearing a little bit easier. Uh, why the mass is taking it? Difficulties? I think it's just easier to some degree. I think Venthyr can be a little bit slower, but Venthyr is like really, really all about like burst. It's technically is the best choice for single target, but the Kyrian is flexible because it does okay in single target and does okay in AoE. Venthyr is technically the best in pure single target Correct. situations, but yeah, almost no rage fight is a true. pure single target Crazy. situation. There's usually something you can cleave once Why? in a while. 
are running some Lego Skyrian. Yeah, I'll be running some Lego. It would be the uh, Shadow Dust Legendary. Because both Eventier and Legendary get a lot of value from using their Covenant ability more often. That was hot. So Shadow Dust is really good. What the? Plus with the Unity, Ventier, D-Sync's. Normally you could yeah. run Venti with uh, Dreadblades just okay, fine as pure single target build, but because of Unity it desyncs, so it's better to run Shadow Dust so you could use Flagellation on thing. cooldown and you only release really Dreadblades with Flagellation. Well, well like uh, Mythic yeah, Pluses, you probably would drop Dreadblades, you'll yeah. probably go Alacrity yeah, and Mark for Death instead. You could probably make that work too, but I think it's probably a better deal the other way. I can maybe go over like the build you would run for Mythic Pluses if you want me to. After this pull, oh, we got the, yeah, we got the thing, the trinket and everything lined up. Hopefully, spread it out. Excuse me, let's go. So we're in the same leg as Kirin as twos? Yeah, we could do it. Yeah, I'd be down to run with you as a healer. I do need some, uh, I'll probably do a druid or something, honestly. I need some uh, cosmic flux on that guy. I also need to be able to maybe hopefully get myself tier. I definitely need tier on that guy. So maybe in my free time I could just work on getting druid a proper honor set. Like a basic PvP honor set. I'm taking a lot of damn, by the way. Okay. Walk out for a sec. Polis. I have missed purple, man. Me too. <laughs> there is still a little bit of berry left. All right, in it. Okay, now we got a full purple burst. Oh, man. King's worn too. I slice this really bad. Oh god, I'm lagging really badly. Alright, I was wondering for a second, like, was my rotation like feeling still kind of sluggish? I was literally lagging for a second there, boys. Not sure what happened, but I think we're back. We're back. If the stream isn't working for you guys, just make sure to refresh and we're good to go. Pasta is really good. Great about what, maybe a little early? Hopefully not. The last one was like right next to the boss. Yeah. <laughs> no! We died, oh, the moons, and Toka on Forge. Are we good though? We got 100 though. Wait, we actually might be okay. You just gotta pick a Actually, do it, boys. Good night, Dal. Good luck with the loot. It's like, you thank you so much for coming by, Laura. I appreciate it. Exams coming up in a few days. I gotta fix the same schedule. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Take care of yourselves first, fam. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate you. Trying to get out of each other's way. Right? Okay, we should be able to dumpster the boss for a while here. Give me the juice. Huge. The difference between getting the full buff and not getting a full buff in those boss is it feels so safe. Max and mount. Double wall. Gonna get the arm of the dead rolling again. Make sure this soul dies. Defensive. Casting needs to die. Nice. Watch this wall. Last wall. I'm chilling. We gotta cle uh, clean up the ads a bit, but otherwise, just keep pumping. All these souls are high. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting chat. Actual CP2 pretty early into the night. This is good news. Good news. 
CCs, kill the scream of direction. Be careful with these stars. Remember, last two and we're on them need to be cursed. Someone pick up first kick blue, someone pick it up. King's one one, get ready. King's one one. Let's go down on this grim. Can reach that thing for some reason. Oh, that is a bad position to be in. Oh, nobody got the kick. Oh, it's over. Oh, we're all dead up top. And the pad damage of is disgusting. It is so good, dude. Bunch of you in that face. Look at that. 49,000 DPS. It's crazy. Here's me with my pathetic 22k, dude. Pathetic 22k. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> I think I did like 19k and survival on heroic Andy. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, the overall is huge. I think I want to see. I think Warlock and maybe survival hunter might have the highest logs for the most amount of damage for that fight. Let's let me look. Yeah, we let me check. Yeah, we need to be very fast. 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 Yeah, we need to be very fast.
Survival Hunter, yeah. Wait, what are you playing, lol? I'm playing a rogue. Like, totally I'm playing a Nightborn rogue. I'm just yeah, using a toy in order to make myself look like uh, Sira. Burst of almost 35k. Yeah, but BM like Hunter, yes, it is. See, yeah, BM could do quite a bit of burst. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Because we're trying to crank every bit of damage out. Yeah, I think. I think me and Sporting Neighbor are pulling our most damages with like the one second version. Yeah, like group two, like I'm mashing my keyboard frantically to try and pull you guys up. To grab you pulling your shit, dude. What? For the ads, for the second dude? What does it do? Judge a soul? For second case. Soul of a target party know. member, only usable recently deceased. Oh, okay, so they gotta be down. I'm genuinely confused. I need another toy. Let's go. For this one. Well, that answers my question. <laughs> yeah, Warlocks are bursting a ton, man. They're absolutely blasting. They're insane. I guess it's just like where they got the, what, their tier set and they're going for a big inferno build and they're just dropping in rain of fire on the ads because there's going to be a little bit of pad and whoever gets to hit the lost souls. But the birds that do is just drop down in Malaysia infernal and then go for instant cast chaos bolt that someone's a blasphemy and then you're summoning it just out, shooting out a bunch of back to back bolts. Absolutely just obliterating the boss and summoning even more infernals because no, of it. Because of the build that they're running. Let me see if I can find Swork when he's running. So they're running the Reign of Chaos and they're running that one um, conduit. Then Infernals every time the pulsate nearby the enemy, then make him then the enemy takes more damage from the immolation of that infernal. So it builds up. And you got a bunch of these infernals that all do a big immolation damage, and then blasphemy also do the same thing. And then you're getting a lot of infernals spawning in as you're just chucking chaos bolts back to back, and those infernals are generating you lots of soul shards to do this conflict rating and chaos bolting, rapid firing back to back. So just like a big old you chaos bolting with someone's infernals, infernals generate you more soul shards, which gives you more chaos bolts, and eventually it just becomes like a critical mass where you're just spamming it out back to back until your main inferno starts to time out. Blasphemy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be a for the win. Dude, when you play the BM for that one quarter stars where we got the uh, auto attack ring. By the way, big thanks to Nawu, by the way. That ring is massive. But that BM actually popped out quite well. I did a good damn. I just don't really see a lot of BM, so it's not like I, I really am aware of like how good can they be. Nesperia? It's one of those things It's like, okay, well, I don't see the spec that much. I don't really know what to expect. I was like, okay, cool. Wasn't surprised. You did quite a bit of damn. Spread. Well, they'll make BM play like super, super fun in uh, Dragonflight. Oh, hopefully they'll do, all, they'll do that with a lot of specs in the game. I like how you just do still like, oh, gotta make sure we're waiting. Things more one. Trying to make sure no one blasts each other out. Oh, dead sadly. I'm back to say goodbye. Have a good night. Thanks so much for coming by, uh, uh, Largo. Appreciate you, my man. Hope you have a good evening. Those are the top 1k BM hunters in the season one, or at least in two, gave up on a mem. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. There's just a speck in like a weird spot. And it's so weird because in BFA, BM was so good. It had really good traits for Azerites and such. It had really good damage, it scaled really well with all the different stats you had. Like it was in a really good spot for a good while. Which is so weird that it just, Blizzard kind of let it fall off at the end there. Being worn too. Kieran and Hunter back then, yeah, yeah, there was a lot of Kieran and Hunter back then. I will replay the MM. I played Survival at the time. In season one and season two. I just liked it. From the last season. Because I remember back in BFA, like with certain traits, it could kinda sort of work for a little bit. Okay, we're dead. Oh no, you know what made it work? It was the corruption too. Like a lot of haste made it pretty decent. As well. Let's go again. 
Just see the potential of a mem hunter. Yeah, it's really good. A three mages. All the rogues to be a hunter. Bring back the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all the rogues are actually kind of okay. What the hell? What the hell was that? Oh yeah, Nick. <laughs> Any Nerzul enjoyers? I hear we're summoning Nerzul. All I know is that a little bit deeper. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaning in. Yo, that one, that one is you face your axis, Eridor or Eridor. Oh, true. Hit me with it. No, too, oh, too, uh, <laughs> too radio voice soundy. <laughs> there it is! Yeah, there <laughs> <laughs> oh, Taraxxus, there, there it is. Lord of the Burning Legion. Come on, dude. <laughs> dude oh, That's very decent. <laughs> That's so good, dude. <laughs> That's very decent. Right. I gotta see if my uh, mic might be able to do that. I think that might somebody might have made a preset for Draxus. I like it. What's up, usual? Do 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 I think his voice might be pretty easy to replicate with the, my software. The moons, are you high? Maybe. Shit. You're not the moons. Alright. In this barrier. Spread for marks. Man, I wish they would maybe lower down the CD of the uh, Dreadblade just by a hair. So it would sync up so much better. Because I almost every time I want to sync them together, but I can't. Alright, chat, I want to see P2 again. A little barrier up. Nice. Go. Done with the other keys? Let's go, dude. Agent Blankful, but sadly missed the timer. That's all good. At least you're done for the evening. You're done for the week, my guy. You're done. The search is over. You can finally rest. And do some raiding. Okay, I want to night fade this if I can. Dude, I feel like I can never like... I gotta be really, really close to that ad. I don't know if fucking back strike truly does anything against him. I gotta be really up in melee. I wish I could think that maybe I could just like... I have a bit of a range. Like with Ando, but I have a bit of range. I got a decent range. With that guy, I feel like his hitbox is much, much smaller. We got almost 100% bar, so we missed something. We should hopefully be okay. That is messed up. My score went up. That's all good. For him here, gonna grab some Z's. Yo, thank you so much for coming by, Tony. Appreciate you, my man. Yo, you having something good? Wednesday, actually, I guess Thursday morning, my man. Thanks for popping in. You hope you have yourself a good Thursday in general, my guy. I'm not gonna be streaming tomorrow, but hopefully we see you back for the Friday Five Fun One Windows, my man. Thanks for popping in, dude. Appreciate you. Okay. Uh oh, this is bad. 
I'm gonna claw a lot. Oh, I, uh, I think we're dead. Unless, yeah, we're dead. Sounded a little too hard. <laughs> oh no, dude! No, my episode twenty seven eighty. Let's go, dude! Really Huge. For 55K, man. Let's go one up. That's what's important. Now yeah. I just gotta get you like nineteens and even twenties done. I did. Just a couple of them here and there, and you'll be good to go, my guy. PP too long. That's unfortunate. I don't know what happened either. Put it away. Do, 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 do. Uh, if I was more used to Survival Hunter, a uh, better could time it, but obviously maybe mechanics, a lot of affixes, a bunch of melee. Yeah. Yo, speaking about affixes and melee, I'm thinking the next uh, dungeons for the next season might actually be pretty fun for melee. From what I saw, like Upper Kara, there's a bit of movement, but I don't remember a lot of it being like super un melee friendly. I remember like a lot of the compositions had a Windwalker in there and a Demon Hunter in there, with maybe like a Warlock in the back, like Residue Blood DK. Maybe we'll swap out one of the melee for like a marksmanship hunter. Boomy were good back then, but yeah, I wonder if melee would be pretty decent for the whole season. The 12 through KO, that's pretty good. Shrouded Bros, yeah, it's not bad. It's actually kind of a, it's a pretty simple affix. And uh, somebody, I think on Wowhead comments said that they probably did an easy, simple affix. Is that Smite playing that? Oh, jockey music. I should have it muted. I won't mind. Stat stack looks nice. It does. It's actually pretty easy to play in Winter, honestly. I imagine like going for a Giga Crit Outlaw build or a Versatility Outlaw build would be pretty decent. But like all those casters will be able to go like Giga Haste too. Oh my god. Casters are gonna love it, man. Giga right, Haste builds are gonna be incredible. <laughs> In this barrier. Spread out. Not Coralius. Yeah, it's got my butt. Trying to get to you. Wait, 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 wait. Just kind of ran somebody. Not like this. Can I uh, grapple? Oh my god. He made it over. Wait, that's actually so good. <laughs> Kid, that was the president. <laughs> he ran into me, he just tackled me. He didn't need to. I had cloak. <laughs> is it get another one uh, to 12? IO next oh, week. Someone will be like 3k. Down. Okay, okay. Do 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 if I get like a bunch of 22s on like this 15 plague fall, what, because it's fortified. It's so yeah, like a fortified right plague fall. Maybe like a. It's two Jesus. It's yeah, like a fortified turn aside, the other side maybe, theater of pain, maybe halls of atonement. If I get at least four keys, if not five, on 22 this week or next week, I think I get 3k just with that alone. Because I'm getting like 40 points. You put it on the key. Huge. Yo, even Spork hit me up. Like, yo, I'll do some keys. Here. Let's <laughs> go, dude. Hurt. If anything, we might be able to scrape some boys together for the weekend. I like that. Hell yeah. I'm just gonna try to get together another 212 next week. Somehow it'll be 3k. I, yeah, as long, if you could just start getting like some 20s done, King, or even like 21s. I feel like even like a untimed maybe like 23 or something i think would still give decent score too maybe like a completion group for a 23 or something 
as long as you're like almost like even if you don't time it if you like time it slightly after the key is over you still get a decent amount of score for it or just like time 20s but I guess like maybe hey I'm like, honestly I feel like maybe like some of the groups you're playing with like leave all that often on an 18 maybe they'll be less likely to leave on a 20 right it's just maybe like a different caliber of players that'll be playing in that bracket all together but it's all about getting onto like lucky group for that Fair. Yeah, I feel like I'm not getting the same exact damage as I had yesterday. Yesterday I had such good bursts. Maybe it's like the buzz that I have. Spread it out. Oh god, I have a really good aggressive. Oh, ooh, ooh. there we go. I was gonna say I have a really good aggressive opener here. <laughs> I kind of just like, haha, oh, freaked out for a second. I want to make sure I didn't tackle somebody. But yo, King, I believe, my man. I believe in you. I Maybe we can get some keys in together. Huh? Oh. I didn't need you anyway. Yeah, you're kind of a pussy. Okay. Probably those are the shots of whiskey, homie. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true, that's true. I still do owe you that. Oh, speaking about shots of whiskey, I got uh, Elden Ring. I think I said something before like about shots of whiskey and I'm playing like Elden Ring or something. Although I don't know if I'll be able to play it on stream. Okay, we're dead. That's a wiper. I think we're out of CC. Oh, the crap. I mean, it wasn't his fault I didn't get stunned. That was my fault, I missed I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Well, the 120s did, at time of score, down, up like to a 22. Stun. If you, you can get like a 21 or a 22, I think I they can up your score by quite a bit. But I guess it also depends where the key is at, right? Because I, I guess I one of my keys was, was like at a 16 or 15, so getting like a 223, like a time 23, did give me like a lot of score. So I guess I would do it too. Alright. Let's we'll take let's take, turn the score dial down like three notches. You know, like if you're upgrading from like an 18 to 20 or 15 to 20, I probably end up getting like just a bigger number. Um, so for me, it looks looks like it's a big gain. The CC we just didn't even load less pull like at all. Do, 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 do. I have it downloaded and I've had it. These I do, Jeff. I do a few. Um, mostly for raid mechanics. I don't use any weak auras for a class, though. I think last time I really had weak auras for, like, a class. I think it was, like, a, a thing that I ran for Frost DK for a little bit because a buddy of mine recommended. But I didn't really like it. I like to keep my UI fairly, like, clean and fairly like, close to the original vanilla Blizzard UI as best I can. One, because I used to, like, hop back in, like, BFA Alpha. Legion beta and alpha, Shadowlands beta and alpha. Yeah, it was just I found it much easier to like to swap between the alpha and the live game, and it's just I didn't have to adjust to a whole another UI look because I would always you know on the alpha and beta it would default to the default Blizzard UI. So if I got used to playing that, I'd be able to swap back and forth all the time. Second, it makes it easier to manage add-ons because <laughs> I was not the kind of guy that really enjoyed add-ons for a while. Like I would play, I, I raided a lot of the Mythic and Taurus up until the final boss with no DBM or nothing. And I just didn't feel like I really needed it because I didn't really need it. Like you could see the mechanics. You could see like the boss usually has a bar or maybe they do like a announcement of like, oh, they usually do like a voice line before they use an attack. And just, you'll just remember it. Let's go. You'll just, it's kind of like playing, basically playing Elden Ring. I was playing Dark Souls version of WoW. Just not a group environment. It was never really an issue for me and people I played with. Like they didn't even know I didn't run DBM for a while. And and we're like, okay, you do, you do better. Your mechanics better than some of the other guys okay. in the raid. Okay, spread out. <laughs> wasn't like a big deal. I wasn't like trying to be like, will I play the game without DBM? Well, I'm special. You know, it's like, whoa, slow the fuck down. It was one of those things like, just Thanks, want to keep my UI very, very clean. That's what it really came down Crap, to. That means get in this. I know. I was about to say you grab Kings one check. That makes one mistake in like 50 pulls. Who? No one. Yeah. 
Bubbles. Bye, bubble no. boys. Yo, don't die, don't die, don't die. No! What Burp. the? Nah, I still forgot to fight both. You're kidding me, Blizzard. Blizzard, okay, please. Like take, but I think we need to stun that. Yeah. Uh. Like, can I just uh, jump and, like, grapple over? No, I can't. If only. If only I had the dragon kick, Probably like the monks do. Oh, okay. Needed, like, 15 more seconds in the microwave, I think. Do a 20s next week? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. What if it's like butter and it like has like two second intervals where it's either fucking liquid? My question is now though. Like running, uh, what is going to be our next like good push week? Wait, AK. I have a theater pain on this guy, but what do I get for like? Uh, I only got. Anything. Is next week really bolstering I explosive? Like oh, that could be an easy week. Bolster explosive could be a very, very easy week because that doesn't matter. Explosives don't really matter. Bursting stormwind would be also pretty easy. That wouldn't be a bad week at all. Like this current week is a grievous. It's going to be pretty tough for the healer, but not super bad. Sanguine is like movement and knockback, so it could be annoying, but. I'm just starting to think like when is it going to be the next push week? When is it going to be the next like tyrannical volcanic like bursting week or something? Like a week where just nothing you do really like is going to be super super scary. Like the next time that week happens, he's like a, like a if I don't get 3k before that week, I definitely need to put 3k <laughs> by that week. This week and next week we can get it and throw it another bed. Yeah, I'm down. I, I'll be free all, like, over the weekend. China. Like, maybe, like, Thursday, but mostly Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I'll be down. Like, maybe we can get a Lhasa and uh, Lemoons, because they also do keys. Lemoons is going to rest enjoy, like, nothing. Lhasa plays our rest enjoy it, so that'll just, be pretty easy, then. I'd rather just get it than not get it every time. Unless she's going to play Pala. Four, three, two, one. AOE incoming. Being the sparrow. Spread for Mars. Nice. King of Warm. Some of you are playing a little too risky. Please stop that. I've seen it like three times in a row. The other way, so I went to you. But then he turned back as soon as I rolled. Oh, someone called it. What do you need? Wait, it's all good. We got it. Fine. Hmm. Tighten my asshole real quick. Yeah, the timing's definitely do feel a little different. Oh, my damage is a lot better than it was before. God, I love Venthyr. I don't know why I didn't play Venthyr this whole time. Hell, I even like Venthyr for PvP. It's super bursty. I know Kieran's really, really good. Like, incredibly good. Jesus Christ. One more grip on the ads, and I think I'll do the night fade. Help pull him out. Nice. Get us out. Get us out. Get us out. Two dead. Three dead. Uh, awkward. I think we. Mm, four dead. Five dead. Okay. No mind. Do you have like a lock gate there or something, or we're just we both just blind? Yeah, I'm right. Monarch circle there, we're cool. Got it. We die, yeah. Yeah, that's the definitely a wipe ski. Nah, we 16 minutes. If he dies, he dies. Yeah. Believe in you guys. 
If you believe it, you can achieve it. So close. It would super try to do the best he can. I feel like if he gets flap, if he can just flap over there, he might be able to reach it. I wonder what happens if you like start over there. I'm sure like the boss snipes you. But imagine just being able to get over there. Evil can evil for some reason. I noticed a couple of things. For group one at least. You come up, you get in the barrier. Get the divine star, get out, drop your star, get back into the barrier. Unless you're DPSing the souls. Don't stay out and rage and continue DPSing. You gotta get back into the barrier. Uh, ba what's the shit called? Blasphemy happens. Spread out, clear, back into the barrier. And some of you guys are not doing that. It's a fucking dance. Like, why? I would actually love to roll for people, you know? I'll step on your fucking foot, that's what I'm gonna do. I got bigger people, <gasps> let's go. What size? I wear 12, double wide. 13 over here. Okay. Hey, 13, yay! 13, dude, you said 14 last week. My fucking slippers are 14 for some reason, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, well, you, you're 10 foot. Wait, Details name has been a lie this whole time. You're a fucking size 13. What are you? Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's your details name? Size 14 foot, dude. I haven't noticed it to be honest. <laughs> wow. I feel I feel betrayed. This is worse than when drama started fused. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude, he's already dead. <laughs> he got married and he has a kid. We're buddies now. What do you mean? Do you still talk to Drama? Last time I talked to him was when he disbanded Fuse. Okay. I guess didn't disband to suffering. Must be correct. In the barrier, please. Yeah, he's got a kid now, right? Yeah. Sure. Baby Carlos, exactly. Yeah. Alright, King's more and one, let's go. I really hope we get to see P2 more often tonight, boys. I feel like we're blasting our heads against the wall against this boss. Just uh, our foreheads are already pretty bloodied. I just want to be able to see more of this fight. It's starting to get to one of those situations where the fight is almost like it's almost like we're just doing the same thing over and over. It's like starting to become a little bit more repetitive. I remember last time I really felt like I was on a fight, where it's like, it just feels like we're just kind of doing the same old, same old. Like, this whole first part of the fight just doesn't really feel like it does anything. Like, it's not really super important. It's like, this is just like an introductory where we just get to DPS the boss and just dance and do the mechanics properly. Three barriers, stars, and fucking blasphemy in that order. I'll catch up with the messages second king. Good grip. Huge. Holy fuck to it. Nice. You guys did it. Do you know if it'll be thing uh if we buy the thing at 3k or I'll count it's all 228? Is that Careful. account wide? I don't know actually. I don't think it is. I yeah, think that should be. I feel it should be, but best. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it is though. I, sh I think it should no, be. It should 100% be. It should totally be. If it isn't, Blizzard gotta change it, man. Like, if you achieve that on your main, you just wanna play your ults, so that item is fantastic for playing your ults. Because by the time you hit 3k, you already have all your conduits to need. You don't really need them on your main. You gotta start calling white and black, Memnar. No, 2022. While we were still doing uh, heroic, Carlet asked why there were so many plaques running around. Oh no, uh, Bruce is not even in the raid. <laughs> what is fucking going on? 
Did that again? Oh no. Nice. Soul Explosion is a little fucking ass dying, correct? Right? Yeah, it's the circle on the ground. No, it's not the circle on the ground, it's the AoE around them when they die. Circle on the ground is a different name. Yeah, I don't know, King. I would. I need to go look. I need to ask some guildies because some of them are three k. Make sure this soul died. Start hitting the soul right now, honestly. I put him not. The ramp up anyway. Pop evasion in case we get autoed or leapt on. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Please kill it! Please. Kill it. Oh, come on! That I know I don't have that great of damage on that thing. Half the rate split to dodge the wall, uh, and there was a bunch of range, so they just stayed over there. Damn. So Andy was slapping him. I mean, one of the tanks and just call The king, the not really doing the craziest damage here. on him. I think everybody picked a the direction there. Uh, Monster of Soul, like, not the great dude. Yeah, I'm not doing that great of damage on that thing. Oh, man. Maybe I should start hitting at the very beginning. Maybe that'll help a ton. Because I know the king gotta go take a bit of damn, of but I'm not that great at focusing two soul targets. Is the, or soul explosion is the damage no, it is not. Uh, it is an AoE around the little soul ads that die. No, soul explosion is the swirly on the ground. It comes from them dying, but it fires at random targets. Upon death. Dying to Soul Explosion is dying to the Swirly. I did not stand in the Swirly, my dudes. I can hear you, Jen. <laughs> I can hear I lost you. Really? Yeah. Okay. Pull up my squad, dog. Okay, so King, it's actually per character. They gotta change that. Like, if somebody gets like 3k on their main, they should be able to catch up their ults faster. Hopefully, they'll change it at some point. Uh, yeah. For killing Jailer Mythic or for getting 2400, you just want to play some alts and stuff. And not whatever, don't want to have to worry about conduits at all. That'd be nice, man. Or just find like a way for you just to be able to buy a higher version of those conduits with like Honor or Valor or something. Like, if you just upgrade conduits with Valor, that'd be nice. There's like a more easier way for you to be able to upgrade the conduits you want and need. Let's say you play just Frost Mage, man. Just want to be able to upgrade your Frost Mage conduits and you're not going to play any other spec at all. That'd be so nice. Hopefully we'll see something like that in the future. This is my... Oh wait, I have another toy. Hold on. I got another toy. Orb of Deception. I gotta favor that. I'm a Void Elf. I look like Blood Elf. Trust me, I'm a Void Elf. I got that one in order to get that video of uh, Rogues, Tauren, Oryx's Priest. Because if you like, let's say if you're human, you always transform into an Oryx. If you are, I think, a gnome, you always transform into Tauren. And if you are a Blood Elf, you always transform into Draenei. So for that video, I wanted to kind of like showcase like Tauren. Rogues and Draenei rogues. So I use that toy in PTR in order to swap my tunes just to show all the characters like the mogs or whatever. That's about the best I can do. I know some people are able to do that if they have like a private, their own like internal server or something. Like private server for them to right. test stuff with. Some people can do that. I, I don't have something like that, so <laughs> that's about the best way I could figure out how to do how to do that. Yeah, that means you have to do a hunter chamois. At that point, I feel like if they're an alt, like I wouldn't even bother trying to go for conduits. It feels weird not going for conduits. But yeah, I they really gotta like I thought originally that they added the item not as a reward for hitting twenty four hundred, like in PvP or three K red IO whatever. I was thinking it was originally added so that you could play alts, and that's what I think a lot of people thought too. So hopefully they'll change it maybe for nine two five. Or add another item that you can just like grind towards. It could be like a super expensive item to just spend a bunch of conquest on your main and all you all get like all the conduits unlocked. That'd be nice. A more readily accessible way of acquiring these things would be nice. And very helpful.
I don't think I'll be able to get a full burst into Andy here, but hopefully. Portion of it. Yeah, it's no it's it's not a great it's not ideal king. I, I dislike it either. Like at this point, like Blizzard has done so much good with like making stuff cross or uh, you know, alt friendly, cross character stuff. You know, your main completes the story chapter, like you also don't have to do that on your covenants or whatever. It's like they got pretty close with it. They got uh, done such a good job, and it's almost like they just didn't go all the way. Makes it sad a little bit. It's like, just add a little bit more. Just Oh, okay. I got taken out a little early. Well, I don't no, know where I to finish. 4%. Oh, was it? My health it mm. would have been fine if I hadn't got pulled. I got pulled before he even called it. Unfortunate. Unfall. Yeah, Memnarch, you saw all their health bars disappear over here, right? Yeah, I had 50k left when I got pulled up, and I think I was 50k? Left. Damn. I didn't look at it. Okay, it's already hitting on this ads, but I probably yeah, shouldn't. I have, I have my ad bar right now. Right it's mm -hmm. like 100% super accurate, and I think it, like, mm -hmm. takes data from one player, and if they get yoinked up, it disappears. That so shit. So you gotta just wait for the call. Watch it have been me. Okay. It's it's weird. Sometimes it just disappears when it's like really low. I don't, I'm not sure why, but it gives us like a general indication of the stop at least. Who was that priest that died in the barrier? That was me. Well, if anything, I guess we get to see a really nice uh, underside of the uh, just barrier or the just boss just platform. Just, uh, eat a star. I feel like we get to see the underside of the boss platform more than we get to see the uh, P2 of this boss fight. As soon as you get to P2, P through P1 consistently and just see P2 more often, I feel like we're going to make so much progression. So much progression. Now, I keep getting these glimmers of satisfaction from time to time. I literally don't know where I keep getting them from. The game just like randomly will drop them. And I just don't really know what to do with them. At all. Hopefully they'll have a lot more alt friendly stuff in Dragonflight King. You know, it, it, it sounds like they're gonna continue the uh, 30k on Heroic Jailer. Not bad at all, BM Hunter. That's not bad at all. Yeah, it, it, with that fight, it's a little bit like uh, I don't even know what the average DPS of that fight would be because there's like. That's about better than what I do, actually. <laughs> Honestly. And you guys killed it too, right? Hope you got something good out of it. I think the neck is pretty good there, isn't it? Lacking a few things, but whatever. The other specs in a better spot. Yeah, yeah. It's maybe they'll do some tuning to make BM much, much better. Our Lord of the Burning Legion. I gotta figure out how to do the Jaraxxus voice on the this thing. I can do like a generic demon voice. Get around to somebody eight. Okay, enhance the shaman. If you get up with that guy, either enhance the shaman is doing something wrong. Or are you doing pretty, doing something right? Because the enhancement is generally one of the better single target DPSers. I mean, there's like a little bit of a AOE spot at the uh, very okay, last phase of that fight, but like it's not super crazy. I think it's dumb to not count wide. It's like an eight. I know, right? All you and all you want to do is like, okay, I finally got this achievement on my main character. I want to go play alts. And for me, it's like it wasn't like, okay, I reused this achievement. Now I get all my conduits maxed out because there's a good chance you'll end up maxing out your conduits along the way. Right, you'll end up getting your counter, it's pretty close to max, it's like you already achieved max. What else is there for you to achieve? I mean, I guess you could keep pushing beyond 3k if you wanted to. Maybe that's what they're trying to do with that uh, item. But I was thinking to myself, like, oh man, that'll be like a, such a nice old friendly thing. You hit max in your main, you've done what you wanted to do, now you can go share some of the bounty with your alts, man. At least that's how I viewed it, but maybe I had it wrong the whole time. I guess I had it wrong. So I had to go through. I know, right? Yeah, I feel like it sh you shouldn't have to. I feel like it should just like you should be able to get that item. So it's like, okay, well now I feel like I finished that character. Now I can go play your alts and finish those characters if you want to. It's like you achieved someone in your main account, and it looks like Blizzard got it's getting the it's understanding it a lot better in going into Dragonfly. They're like we're trying to make things account like things like. A lot of the achievements and a lot of the progression is going to be account wide. Like they're doing a lot of the account wide progression for like a lot of the covenant achievements. 
uh, in 9 to 5, which is going to be hopefully better. Okay, we didn't get CC. We're trolling that one. Yeah. Stun up that. Missed it. We got killed before, I think. <laughs> Just tackled him. That's good if you like how I bodied him there. <laughs> Flesh from bone. <laughs> I like that. 20k Cobra shot. Let's go. That's a pretty big hit. They should make a cosmic flux packages. Coming to get a belt item and farm flux. I know. I agree with you, Jesus. You should. Be, that's another thing you should add. You should be able to buy. Like when you main completed the story of Zerath Mortis, your alt should be able to just buy the belt glass with flux. Out of her plastic cups. He is the glass. True. Yeah, I agree with you that though, Jesus. I We're feel like, yeah, you, just, you should be able to get the belt easily, the man. Jug easily. The, in the, jug. The, jug. the egg came first. Yeah, and then Flux, you should be able to send Flux to your ult as well, because my main has a lot of Flux, but I don't have any reason to spend it on anything. Unless you get like a helmet and want to go for Mog, I really don't have any reason to spend any of it. <laughs> Just my skin, not the I, mean, I think I got what the helm, I need the shoulder, uh, the belt, and the boots. I guess I could upgrade the belt for the appearance if I really wanted to. And I guess I could do the two boots as well if I really. You know what? I might just do that. I might just upgrade my belt and my boots for the. Well, actually, it's gonna give me wrong stats, isn't it? It's gonna give me bad stats, is it not? Well, it actually, it might not. You know what? I might upgrade them. I might up them. Just for the appearance. I'll see though. Cause I got flux, but I got nothing to spend it on. You should be able to send it to Alza for sure, Jesus. What a good song choice. Beam Hunter could have been good. I know, right? Yeah, if it was like designed diamond. better for AoE. Yeah. If it only. And like, they were going through iterations and process. I feel like... I, I'm, I'm Now I'm wondering if maybe like, did they get enough feedback on the BM Hunter tier set? Cause I, they must have gotten the feedback, Conan's right? We'll listen to the song while we bomb somebody. Which one are you playing? Ride of the Valkyries. Yeah, the best. It should have got like AOE damage increases. Right, I was gonna say. Because it's not a need of like uptime. Yeah, but well, it should have got some kind of damage increase out of it. Nice. Good blink. Take care, man. You're out for the night. All right, sounds good, my man. Yo, thanks for popping in, dude. Yo, maybe we could do some stuff tomorrow, yeah? Just hit me up if you see me online. Unless I'm working on a vid, I should have a lot of free time tomorrow. But yeah, 26k Corbis, that's a pretty big hit for BM. Like a whole dude, at least BM pipes in PvP, man. At least you got something going for it. That PvP damage is pretty decent. Don't want to go full burst here. I think I'll just wait, dude. I think we just AFK. All right, chat. We got about an hour 30. Hopefully we get some progression. Hopefully we get the downstairs phase done fairly easily. I'm literally just holding CDs at this point. I was born to. Pop a sippy. And faint as we go down. I don't even know if faint does anything at this point.
You can pull us. Bring us up. Oh, we killed him for the quickly. Nice. Try. Just we'll be fine. We'll be pretty decent. We'll be pretty doable. I agree. Hopefully, nine to five will add, and you could buy to get a full, full set of two. Yeah, I know. For you all, for the, the item level for those counters is probably gonna go up. Actually, no. I hope he doesn't. Hope he doesn't. Hopefully, you can just get that max level conduits from like all your mythic pluses and from all raids. Hope you can get it from your heroics, man. You know what I mean? Just make just add it so you can get it from your heroics. Just so you can finalize your set. Just so you can complete your character. How nice would that be? This is a starting soul immediately. Just starting the homies. Let's focus down the primary target. Good touch of death. Lots of all things. I don't know why I press blade story. Stack back up, please. After the wall. As soon as a new guy comes out, I gotta hit him. Monster soul? Or is the monster at? Wall's coming in. Oh god. Did the monster just kill us all or was it the wall? Oh. Uh, I think it's the monster the soul that I killed like, us. Why did the boss hit me? <laughs> Okay. Uh, what died there? Spork? Strick? Uh, just dead and dead? Soul Reaper? I think it must have been Wall, right? I'm not sure what happened, actually. Hard to tell. But yeah, King, hopefully they just make it easy, because it's like the final season, you know? Let everybody play their all. So make it easy to gear our characters. Make it easy for people to catch up. And hopefully they'll start the season without any conquest cap. Just let people grind out conquest and all valor as much as they want to. Let people maximize their uh, character immediately. We have to be a little bit more careful when we do our um when we do the downstairs phase. <laughs> Bro, I love Smite. This is one of my favorite people in the guild. I got a lot of those, actually. We are at 190 pulls of this one, boys. 190. I think as a guild, like 200. Because I wasn't in for some of them. At least one or two nights. I think at least one evening. I'm still in P1 for quite a while. Damn. This is one of the more hurdle bosses, though. Even after the nerfs, it's still a little bit like. It's taking a while. Oh, um, for whatever reason, when I dropped my cap, they were stunning me. The ads? That was interesting. Or the. the. the ads in the. intermission or the ads in the, uh, like the souls? During King's Mourn. Who's haste burst as the highest stat? I got, I got Versa. Yeah, give me more Versa, please. I actually can almost get like a thousand Versa on this thing. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Real. Versus Biss. Unless I'm a sa subtlety and then crit is Biss. Boss, let me know you're ready. All right, chat, let's see phase two. Because I want to see it more consistently. 
I also want to pay attention to like, what are we barrier. dying to? Because Blasphemy is we're generally doing okay. Blasphemy is generally all right. We don't die here. In the downstairs phase in group one, I think generally you're okay. I'm wondering actually like how they how what do they do the downstairs, like the actual like under Kingsborn phase. Cause that's where we might be struggling. Just trying to clean that up. Make that more consistent. Okay, they got all the percentages, which is good. I'm starting to think maybe me and Smite should do a better job of stacking on top of each other so that we don't get the blue puddles everywhere. Cost a perfect move. 100%, 100% boys. Super is down, I'm not sure why. Well, those should be okay. I'm just gonna hold everything. Wait, we actually got a perfect clean, clean go, boys, and we got a res. What did we die to? Super died to the dot, but then he also got hit by a hope breaker. So it looks like it just took a bunch of damage all of a sudden with Hope Breaker into the dot. Maybe like a tick down a really hard on 25k. They're just percentages to just heal he tick for a ton. Alright chat, big go, big pull here. Actually big damage in the boss. You got boss Dammy. Out of the wall. We're gonna go for the uh, monster soul. Nuke it. Yeah, it died. Oh god, almost did die. I feel like we slowed down to the very, very end there, too. Okay, watch the wall, watch the wall. Stack. Should be good here unless we got a bad wall. Focus all. Nice, good focus, good focus. So we had ourselves like perfectly set up with the Anduin buff and everything. Like we're not dying. Well, actually, no, we did lose somebody. I'm not sure how, but we did lose we one. Up in hey, I tried my action zombie too. Let's go, dude. That's exactly what we want to see. That's exactly what I want to see. Just 10 seconds now. Guys, these reflections are priority damage. Crank the shit out of them. We missed a. Ah, uh, yeah, we're dead. Oh, come on! It literally feared us on the edge. I just started walking back. But it's only like a fear took me on the side, and as soon as like, I took got control of my character, the gravity kicked in. <laughs> the game literally threw me off the edge. That's troll. Is that normal? That might be. Psychic like Terror 19k, yeah.
Unfortunate, man. We even had a good go to chat. That's crazy. I mean, I like everything worked out just fine. Jesus Christ, General Chat. So at the end with Jash, what happened there? Yo, Steinaffer knows what's up. This is a live, alive, alive Claude soul explosion. What do you think is like the puddle on the ground? What's this winter? What's this winter? Another soul explosion. Okay, yeah, he just ate like two puddles, I think. Love the get hell. Maybe? Army of the Dead, Fiendish Soul, so explosion when they die, the uh, soul blasts the area and flicked it up. Oh my god. Two players within four yards of the impact. Yeah, you're just dead. He took two of those back to back. Was that with wall up? I think it was. How do you live that? How do you reduce that by that much? 90% reduction, I guess. Damn, though. Well, hopefully we'll get there again. I love the progression. In the barrier? Because if we could just see that P2 a lot more often, I feel like if you just practice that, like this boss can die. Like P2 doesn't seem all that bad. It's all about like timing and positionals. Spread out. Kill the ads as quick as possible. Doesn't seem bad at all. I also love how we can just maintain 17k from a range, just pistol shotting the boss. That is hilarious. God, it helps out a ton. 17k DPS just with pistols, dude. What is this bag? It's so good. Dude, I'm so hoping that this hero set becomes our master or something. Like, if this was my outlook master with pistol shots and stuff, that'd be so huge. I'd you love it. Where's my friend? Okay. Where does Stav go? Usually he's back there, waiting for me. Not the full bar though, we missed something we up. Missed two, it looks like. Do you want to just jump or no? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's just four, dead. Is that our group or your second group? It was second group, it was healing ads. First group was two. Was well. Wait, yeah, what? Did we actually miss any in second? I thought we got them all, at least DPS ones. Maybe we missed something in the healing. On Forge. Do 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 do. Chat, were you guys there for the stream earlier? Mm -hmm. Where we got to do the uh, 925 Mythic Pluses with a new affix. It's actually really fun. Uh, All good. You eat enough vitamins, bro? <laughs> oh, God. It was like day and I did something really stupid I shouldn't have done. I still want to try to see if I can maybe get a guild group together and do a uh, upper Karazhan full run. 
I think it'd be really fun. Oh, they're changing the KSM for the next season down to 15 or 1500 boys instead of 2k or instead of wait the changing KSM to 1500 huh wait a second wait king they're changing KSM to a uh, rating of 1500 oh conqueror never mind okay never mind might be might be ignore me I think he's still master still uh 2k but conqueror is 1500 I don't know why would that change Alright, take five, dudes. Hog it up. Take five, what do we do? Chat, what do we need to do in five? Chat, what do we do? We got five minute break. Do we need to swap something? Wanna try something different? Go back to sub maybe for the last hour? Because if we're consistently no seeing into the next LGBT phase, maybe we'll go back to sub, man. Character panel. What do you guys think? Like Sub or Alpha? What are you guys enjoying? Oh, no. I know you can, but like every time I press my character mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. drag it left to right or whatever. Let's try this again. Alright. I don't know. Those things. Those were like from um. What raid was it? It was like that raid in BFA, right? Two, two, a few boss raid in BFA. How wrong? I got what's it called? Uh, Sod. Same energy and brain level. Hey, we share a brain cell, okay? No, I took it too. You shit talk me, you shit talk me. COS, okay. No, That's what it was. No. Our brain cell. <laughs> it's fucking perfect for the song. I'm fucking dying over here. Help, I'm crying. What the? I was just jamming in a suka blot. Oh, hey, chat. Have you heard of the game V Rising by any chance? Somebody in the general chat just said, anybody played V Rising any good? 
I actually got an email from the developers that wanted for me to like check out the game and give me a free code. Anybody play it? Anybody know anything about it? That was like a second time I hear anyone say anything about it, like in general chat. I saw a video recommended to me by YouTube on it. Morning, morning. Looks like Patrick hit him, my man. Hope you have a good one. Welcome back. How's your morning going? We're still on Anduin. Still progging. I've heard of the game V Rising by any chance. I've had YouTube recommended to me, and I've just seen somebody in general chat say uh, something about it. Nobody responded to that guy though. And I got an email from the developing team, like they were like really wanted me to check it out. They didn't say anything like, hey, could you like, you know, stream it or whatever, but it was like, hey, you're a content creator, here's the game, here's the DLC. <laughs> They're probably going to be dishing out for free to everybody or something for a limited time. I just don't know nothing about the game. But if it's anything kind of like a like a strategist type of game, I could be fun. Because I've been playing a bit of a Pathfinder recently, like a little bit of like Divinity style game. That could be pretty cool. How do you guys not know about the Murloc back <laughs> It is amazing. Well, I've been watching you for a while now, but I know watch the stream. What's up, Richard? How are you, my man? Hope you're having a good one. What you up to, dude? Yeah, but stream every single day, uh, except Thursday and Friday. Yo, be back Friday, Richard, for them 5 5 dual streams, man. They're pop. They pop. It's fun hanging out with the EU boys and any boys. He also eats fish. He's so cute, dude. Well, more like deep throat fish. <laughs> what? What are you doing? It? Morning, morning. What's up, Alma? How you doing, fam? Hope you have a good one. Hey, boys, all doing? Morning, everybody. Australia, yeah. Thank you. Australian boys waking up. Let's go, dude. Or maybe like late, late EU. Just waking up. Where we're from, boys. Because I know I have a lot of Australians watching me. A lot of you. It's kind of crazy how many. You just woke up? Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> but I just say, that's you have a lot of Australians watching me, though. It's usually when I hear you guys say, like, when I see I'll somebody say there. morning, when it's like a rage stream, I'm like, oh, okay. Yep. I already have a guess. If you here, <laughs> Where you guys are popping off from? Know. Almas, what you been up to, fam? What are you gonna be doing this morning? Or what are plans you got for the rest of the day, right, man? Let's that call, In a normal spot, nonetheless? Good morning. Fuck you mean in a normal spot? Yeah, no comment. Hmm. What oh, happens if I do this? On Terra Gru, one of my favorite. Hold on, if I go Blood Elf, I'll go over Deception. Oh no, I was thinking maybe it'll give him like a Draenei look, but it doesn't. Uh, don't want to disguise myself as a Wood Elf. I think Wood Elf is probably better. Then special, maybe swap some Valor in the main, gear some alts here and there. Let's go, dude. I like that. Yeah, take your time gearing alts, man. Now that Valor and their Conquest is uncapped, now is the time to do it. Especially PvP gearing has gotten so much faster. Like, PvP gearing on alt really rapidly, just, just so quick. It's ridiculous. I've been able to do a couple of burst videos here and there on alts that barely don't have that much gear. I say you, Spork. You ready? It's really nice. And Valor. So how was the best way to farm Valor? Is it just like spamming plus twos? Or just like, just any kind of dungeons, I guess. Because imagine you still need score in order to get a bit of gear too. To like upgrade it. They really need to remove like the Valor and the score thing, dude. If somebody just wants to farm out Valor just to max out their gear, like they should be able to, I feel like at this point. At least it's late until the patch. 
Or rather, late into the expansion, let's be honest. Cause like, I feel like I have so much Valor on my alts, but I can never really use it. When you could ca get KS summon your main, and then your alts could fully use their Valor, that was nice. In Season 1, it was like unintended, but it was so good. I enjoyed that system, even though not intended, a lot more than the current. I get the whole thing of like, you know what, we kind of want to treat M plus score kind of like a CR in arenas. But it, I just feel like it doesn't work the same. It just it does not feel the same. Oh! Oh, that's a lot of deaths. Have to go again. Oh, that's a go again. Pull the gear to go to plus two and fly through it. Yeah, yeah, I feel ya. But I feel like this should just, I don't know, like if your main has earned KSM or your main got like 2k score, 2500 score, or whatever, it should apply for your oh, alts. So you can at least use it to gear your alts. Somebody beating on the door and then I found out the lights were left on in the car. You hit the overhead button, didn't you? Yoink. Maybe they'll do something like that in uh, Dragonflight. But you only need 2k to get to 272. Oh, you know you're right. Yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. At least it's lower. I guess it is at least. At least it is lower. But it still takes a little bit of time, you know? I mean, I probably can do that on my alts. I just need to diversify which keys I have done and which ones I haven't. I just get all the keys that I haven't done. Just do those from my weeklies. Because usually go and I just do like Tierna. I usually do a lot of Taza. On any of my alts, I just prefer it a lot more. Do Gambit and Date. Dude, I love Gambit. Gambit and Streets are like my favorite two keys right now. I can do them all day. I'm not really tough. Well, I'm ready because trying to find me oil in my bag. No. Oh, there's a rule. Hey. What's up? I actually like his model a lot. I thought some of those orc models they did for wide, they look really, really good. The despair? Spread? I like how did a crisscross there. Soak, soak, soak. What the? I think we, we, I think we can still be okay. Jump off. Jump off? Really? Just not even worth? Yeah, let me, let me tackle you. Who can I tackle here? Hold on, come here, come here. I want to get you. Let me get you. Oh, come on. So close. Almost got him. What's up, Tay? How you doing, my guy? Hope you're having a good one. I think Jay is like, yo, you want to play some games finally? Like, I've been asking you for two weeks. I'm like, every single time he's asking, I'm like, I'm busy. I'm, I'm working here. 
Dude, we have just gotta find some time to play together at some point. Unless I wanna like take it really easy tonight, but I have an idea for a vid. Maybe I should take it easy tonight, dude. I'm not even sure, man. I've been a little bit tired. Lane twos. Um. Forgot my rotation completely. Literally just waddled that Anduin. Forgot my rotation altogether. Tricky didn't go off? What the? I swear to God, I hit the key. Everybody close failure. Oh, now that I got to think about chat, earlier I asked you guys if I should play some Outlaw or if I should play some sub for the rest of the night. Uh, even if I wanted to swap over and try sub, like legitimately try sub for this fight, I wouldn't be able to. Oh god. Kings Warren 2, get ready. Kings Warren 2 now. Wow, he died quick. We have plenty of time. What is that? Huge. Okay, if we could do that like that every single time, it would be golden. I gotta get some cooldown reduction on this thing. Make a progress since last last time. We've seen P2 a couple of more times, and we've been seeing like P1 done well consistently, a lot better than yesterday. But not like a crazy amount of progression on Bez, like we're not on intermission 2 or anything like that. So the, the more consistent we can get out of P1, the cleaner we can make P1, the, clean, the, the more often we can see P2. That's really the hurdle for us right now is just seeing P2. It's in the second part of the fight altogether. Regroup after the split. Nice. At least we got him down. Uh, one dude down, but I think we're okay. I don't think we got a res. No, for a while. Might be a little tough healing this next part, but it should be okay, maybe. Everybody pops their cooldowns for this next part.
take a look at Oh, yeah. Kill this all. Focusing it. Doom focusing it. Nice, got it. Please watch your feet. Okay, get your CC. Me too. Hopefully oh, we get CC right. Purple. So this is the perfect opportunity for us to actually get some practice, some proper practice. Working this, you can start pulling boss towards the next one. Watch for stars, please. Start moving Boston. Someone's gonna uh, kick me next back up. I got it. Uh, make sure to ferry me. Pretty good chance. Good silence. Start pulling boss to next. It was really good timing. King Warren, one, get ready. Damn. Yeah, talk about the timing. Yo, bro, progress, boys. Yo, actually, for this, we got in the fight so far. Actually, for this, we got in the fight so far. There it is. This is progress right here. We should be getting a barrier. Do we get CC? Roar? Anything? Oh no. Okay, now we pull. Oh, I'm sorry, the barrier's sick, man. Finish this barrier, guys. Get in, get in, get in. Get in. Yeah, Very it's a little use. scuffed. It is a little scuffed. Bosses take his dead. This will be Kingborn 2. We're only going to do two before we pull up the next group. Some great pull overall. Swipe it up. That was a good pull. Rockers. Grim's going down better than. Yeah, Grim is definitely going down a lot better. Getting that stun in there at the beginning helps out a ton. I think this Wait, is maybe where one. I can where start going energy? for Prey in the Week. Did they actually get 50 energy? They even did that part right. All right, cool. Dude, my damage star. is rogue. The no damage at all in this fight. It is not a good rogue fight. My goodness, it is so yeah. bad, dude. Okay. <laughs> it is so bad. <laughs> dude, rogue, even if I won subtlety, I don't even know if I do that much better. Like, maybe I could try, but like, I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. Maybe I should. Go play in the week for sure, maybe. I only need to go change my conduits there because they are scuffed. They are scuffed. I would conduit for an out the road, but I kind of need the subtlety one instead. Dude, progression. Let's go. What is the boss health at? Uh, 46. Dude, he's at 46. He is dead. By next intermission, we're not going to be in that intermission long at all. We're just gonna nuke down Lich King and the Boy King is gonna be in P3 immediately. That P2 is not that bad either. The group two is gonna have to be very, very careful with the adds. That was very, very well done. Very well done. Seems to be the worst spec to play out there, three. Yeah. You, we were really good last raid. Like, we were fantastic in last raid. We were doable. And Gauss and Nathri were also pretty good, too. It's just right now, we just don't really do... I mean, even the other rogue specs are not that amazing. Like, Sub at least got decent single target. Like, Aldo and Sub actually are pretty close in single target, more or less. I, like, I guess if you like, look at what? Ventir, Outlaw, Subtlety as a Kyrian. We're kind of sort of close. I think Subtlety is slightly ahead. Reddit? Maybe it's copium. Copium, copium, copium. Subtlety is uh, out. It's not bad. Copium, copium, copium. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's just it, it, we could we were better. Like last raid two, we were really really good. That's with the shards of domination. We were incredible. It's a solid spec. Very very competitive. 
But even right now, like, a subtlety continues to gain more power and more damage. Like, even at 5 target cleave, man, like, they do better damage th than we do at 5 target cleave, which is supposed to be our advantage. Like, Blizzard buffed us a little bit, and I think we are slightly better nowadays, but, like, we're still not that good. We're gonna need a lot more than, like, a 4% damage buff. It's like a 20% damage buff, maybe. I could see something like that helping us. She's stuck. Things one, group two, start getting ready. Things one, two, coming now. Just so I can stand in the puddles. I'm gonna cleave. Bring us up. Hopefully, we killed him. Okay, we're really clean there. We got a hunt. We missed something. I don't know what we missed. We missed one ad. Almez. Even though Aldo is like not amazing, it's still super, super fun in this fight. Like, I'd rather play this than sub. I do wonder how Outworld versus Subtlety will do on like single target boss dam. Like if Guy maybe got some logs as, as Outlaw for this boss. I wonder how the boss damage would be. Because it should be super like bad. All behind it. Boss damage should be fairly close to both specs. Sub, Outlaw, Assass maybe even. Every single one of the big hits. I mean, if you don't have that 90% damage reduction, it is kind of crazy. I mean, just 4% difference is just huge. You can check Kieran's sub. Kieran's sub is actually okay for this fight, but it's not amazing. You want to play Venthyr sub. But yeah, Kieran's sub isn't bad at all, though. We've played that before for some of the uh, bosses we progged. Kieran's sub is very, very effective. Finish the soul. Everyone's on soul. Everyone's on soul. Wouldn't take us dead. Uh, can't finish it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Unless everybody's on it, it's hard. Yeah, it pipes. No, it does a great amount of single target damage. It just it's not great in AOE and it's not great in funnel, which is quite a lot of this boss damage. Is uh, AOE really and funnel really damage. Congratulations of being a bit better sub. Thing in melee. Range is pulling aggro on it like every single time that happens. Super had aggro and it was just running across the room. Was it on him? I might have actually been on Super. I think Tanks might just have to like save their grips on that thing. Just taunt and then use grip on whichever tank is not tank of the boss. Just get super super aggressive with uh with his taunts. <laughs> Is there still not a single Outlaw log for Anduin? I mean, it's still a tough fight, but there's no way there's not a single one that killed it, right? Let me check chat. Let me peep it. I don't think there is, though. Rogues. Let's take a look at all the rogue Andy logs. A lot of sub rogues. Is there boss damage? That's what I really want to look at. Because AoE damage, like the cleave, who cares? Boss damage level that really matters here. The rest of it is like really, really pad. Uh, food? Oh, there it is. Assassination, a lot of sub rogues, but assassin is kind of okay too. Apparently, assassination is a necrolord? What the? Wait a second, is that the build? You just play necrolord, just bleed everything up? That's kind of cool, actually. That could be fun. Oh, that plays for sigil. I don't have that trinket. That would be really good, though. Nope, that's so sad, man. Maybe one day. Oh no, there is one. There's one guy named Fudge. There is Fudge on here. Fudge up. 
There's one outlaw in there. <laughs> He's doing it, dude. He would have one on the scoreboard. He did like 15k boss damage overall. Actually, let me look at his overall damage versus boss damage. His overall damage is going to be only slightly higher than boss dam. But it's basically the same. That's the weirdest part about Outlaw. He's like, AoE is almost like it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even count. Even if you press Blade Floor, you do about the same damage as single target as you would in AoE. It's so weird. Uh, or two there already? Is it just a go again? Oh, fucking. Oh, that's a go again. Wipe it up. Right on the edge of that, I was trying to get back towards the outside. There's like Just go to uh, melee. Yeah, probably shut up. Oh, Alright, let's see. Be damage to boss versus just damage. No, you're good. You're good. So he did 27,000 DPS as a Kyriad. Oh, that's just Ghost Wall. So it binds conduits, cool. legs, yeah, legendaries. The, uh, one of the new uh, things they put in uh, 19. So at least we have one out of rogue on the board. Hmm. You just play Survival Hunter and win. I know, right? Honestly, I, if we brought in my Survival Hunter, it probably would do more damage than the Rogue would. I wonder if I should maybe talk to you about it. Because I do have like a geared Survival Hunter. It probably would do more, be more efficient, more effective. I'm actually going to talk to you about it. I'm actually gonna ask you about it, so maybe I should. Because if it actually makes the pro uh, progression easier and better, like if Survival Hunter just pipes and hits harder, because I play the spec a lot, and it's not like it's, it's a gear. Isn't it? Spirits and nuts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever covenant I have to play is whatever I play, man. I imagine it'll be maybe like pretty fun too, just to play an alt. I pray for you, but it's generally fun, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yours asking like is it geared, but it might not be a, like a bad move, honestly, because like then the ads would die really, really fast. <laughs> My single target boss damage wouldn't be that much worse either. Like, Rogue is just cap. Even, like, a subtlety is just not optimal, really, for this fight. Like, subtlety can do pretty well, though. Like, Rogue just doesn't feel optimal. There's not a lot of Rogue logs out of all the other classes on this one. Best one. Unfortunately. Two. Uh, is that a, just white? I put it up. Because the hunter should be pretty geared, or fairly well geared. I just need to up my Legos, and I think I'll be alright. I feel like damage-wise, I won't feel any different. Did Ando and Survival in a pumps? Yeah, I need to do Ando and Survival, honestly. But my hunter is gear. Let me look at that thing, actually. I just pull up the armory of my character. Uh, Dal Prime. If you like learn this fight from a hunter perspective versus a rogue perspective, it'd be about the same. 
I don't think anything would be different. Maybe like defensively it might be. Yeah, so on that thing I got a uh I got a 278 Lego for helm, 262 for shoulder, 262 glove, and 275 for pant. I got a 249 chest, which isn't amazing, but it's I mean it's chest. I got a 268 weapon, which is not the craziest, but it got a decent weapon. But chickens are kind of whatever. I got a Death God Signal with a load of haste, though. Damn, <laughs> that's a lot of haste. So, like, I probably... That thing could probably do okay, honestly. It's, it's, it's not like it's completely out. You know? Uh, Look... Look at it. And... It's not best, but it's pretty decent. What's up, P? Have you came to say a good stream? You know, we sneak it around. Cheers. What's up, man? Hey, thanks for popping, up, popping in. Appreciate you, my guy. Hope you're having a wonderful evening and or morning, wherever you're at. With the survival aspect of the hang raptor strike since that blast me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You just gotta keep hitting the boss. And you got dots, you got grenades, you got the pet attacking. Like, you really don't have that much downtime at all. Like, as Owl, I don't really feel like I have that much downtime. Because I can just pistol shot that builds my stacks and it gives me a finishers that I'm getting cooldown reduction. It's really not bad at all. I think I might just toss up a sim in that character so you can take a look at the gear on that thing. Thirty minutes, boys. Let's make some actual progression. Let's get back into P two again. I just backed up. I did not know if I was gonna hit him or not. <laughs> Do you guys hear my voice just now? That was just like a natural reaction, I just like. <laughs> I panicked for a sec. Yo, boys, so now I'm actually I'll be able to play survival. I'm, 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 I'm gonna try. Maybe I'll get some keys done on that thing, catch it up a little. Okay, so go again. can pull up the Simon Night Hunter because he's in his best gear that he can be for single target. We got Dal Prime do a quick Simon that thing. Dal Prime. Do, 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 Am I running the right talents, by the way? What's the best talents for this fight? As a hunter, what do they run? Hunter survival. Uh, wildfire. So he needs to be night fey. We're gonna set up for night fey. I'll be all right. Let me sim this character. Or to sim C input. We could do a quick sim and do top gear, optimize that character a bit better. 
If it's a real thing, grab some keys if you don't have a hunter. Oh, I mean, like, if, if it's for Anduin, I don't really know if we'll need that much more gear, because he is fairly well geared. I can try to keep on my ults. Question, Mobile 925 would be like, I have no idea, dude. I am waiting, P, for the day they announce it themselves. I'm hoping it'll be out earlier, since Season 4 will be co will come out after 925 comes out. So they're desyncing those completely. So that hopefully we'll be able to see it a little bit faster. <laughs> a little bit earlier. Do, 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 do. So they are running the um, Corain for this fight. Anybody else like have a fear of the suns from like the Mario Corain? The, the angry ones that yeah, just really do like and chase you. And yeah, they're running. They're, what are they're, they're what soul catchy. binds and conduits and stuff? They're are they they're running. Let's see what are these hunters were using. They're using the wildfire spirits and the straight through the pack. Okay. Uh, so let's override them to like I don't know 265. Spirit Attunement, Strength of the Pack, do it like that. Hold on. Oh no. Who the fuck told War? Wildfire. I hated that mod. Blood. Okay. My bad. Sorry, bitch boy. Okay. Fish sticks online or something? Sorry, I'm here. Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> what so is good. Roko going on about? Does anybody ever know? No. As to why the damage mostly would be for the ads and not for the boss, so but it is what it is. I mean, our boss damage is fine, honestly. Like, our boss damage is A-OK. -okay. Plus the damage on that survival hunter, I don't think will be that much worse than my rogue. Whether I play outlaw, whether I play sub. But like, if those adds melt, it'll be fine. Because a lot of this fight is adds. A ton of this fight is just adds. Like in the downstairs, it's adds. In the intermission, it's a lot of adds. So honestly, like, if we kill the adds and make that part easier, that's not a worse idea, honestly. Not the worst plan ever. But I get you, I get the concern. I don't think boss damage is going to be an issue, though. We have plenty of classes that do good boss damage anyway. But if you could just kind of nuke those adds very, very quickly, be golden. I just need to figure out like what are the cooldowns that they use as a survival with the uh, night fair ability. We get a quick heal. Almost. Nice. I'm gonna need somebody to get first kick for me. I just done that. Is how you do that? Is how did you hear that? He's muted. I heard someone say they missed a kick. Yeah. So you you need to get first stun on this after that. Yeah, I just done that ad before it went in. Did I misplace my cap? Yeah, in the darkness is huge. It should have got one. Yo. Oh. He's just waddling. I don't like that. All of us alive? 100%? Yo, this is a good pull. Alright chat, big pull, big game, big game. She 
die. Nice. Should be able to get my bleed here in a bit. There it goes. Welcome, Natos. Too far away. After these walls, we gotta reconvene. Take boss back when you can. Just gonna start burning the monster soul in the beginning. Kill this thing out as soon as possible. Kill the soul. Kill the soul. Needs to die. Okay. He stayed in melee long enough. That's crazy. Started moving last second. We're all alive. Wait, did we not have a single death? Wait, chat. Not a single death. We actually get to see him. P2 prog. Actual power P2 prog. Dude, he's such a solo. He's a 53. He suddenly gets lower and lower every time we come out of this uh, intermission. Every time we come out of this intermission, it suddenly just gets lower and lower. Roasting these ads. Start pulling boss over. Want to stun this thing? Dazzling down, Lucy's down. That's not good. We're gonna have to figure something out. Start pulling boss over. Immediately stunned. The paralysis was stunning, maybe a little too early. Start pulling boss over. Oh god. King Worm 1. Oh god, yeah, we did not have a CC on that one. That was a little early. Oh man. Like, if you're gonna break it, we gotta wait. You have to we gotta wait. To you should break it with a CC. So we should use things like uh, like a kidney shot on the first mob, and then maybe we should like do the DK stone on the second mob. That'll be like the C the first CC. Don't touch it unless you get hit by a CC type of deal. Or like as soon as you get broken out of the uh, like in cap freeze shackle, we should just hit him with like a proper long term CC. So like a rogue stun is probably the best choice there. Like the longest CC we got actually. This is what's it like? How how many seconds is it? Seven? It is seven with a uh, full deep strat. We have available there. I don't think I have a kidney shot or anything like that. You ask what we have available there? Yeah, because your yours is not gonna work as third kick. Uh, well, that's the second set, right? No, set one you would have been it would have been technically Smite's kick followed by Nick followed by you, and you'd be down at that point. So that's not gonna work. Oh, that's true. Bob's ready. We didn't even get like a chance to do first kick. Or not, right? I know. I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to. Or stall like True. another problem. Well, people are also using their CCs on star and circle. Like I haven't had to interrupt or stun star because it's just like chain CC. Well, what you have is dropping. If you have your stun available at that point, just I can just stun like right stun. when I'm walk, moving them to diamond. Yeah, that would be perfect. And then that'll give Smite time and then Nick time. It should be. This relies on whoever's doing whatever you're doing to continue doing. I think it should be a little more aggressive with stuns, boys. Sorry, we... I guess we're just waiting on the score. Second set on diamond. Don't think that's straight down. But maybe I'll get those. I can, like, can get them. Sixty-eight stone and stuff. Okay, I could be wrong, but I don't think straight down can get them. Get in this barrier. Yeah, 
Oh my okay. god, well, look at that opener, boys. Oh my god, what happened? I didn't get a good buffs either. Just popping off on this thing. Eh? What the? Oh, okay. King's one one. Missed one. Uh, do we go again? Well, the DPS end. Get him in his Okay, jump off. On Forge. Four <sighs> percent of that open here. Yeah, missing one ad is just like it's over. That's crazy. We just gotta be so clean with this fight, man. And it's just not us, honestly. Maybe at some point. But like, practicing a P1 is just like... I don't know. It's kind of tough, not gonna lie. Be a pain. It just—it's all about trying to like be perfect in that phase, because that's like the only hard part, really. I think we have like one or two left in us, boys. Been a long night, honestly. I love that burst of Outlaw Rogues. Oh my god, it's so fun. It's so good. Like when it works, it works so well. He's one one. God. Just go the boss? I know, right? Just trying to, man. Trying to. Although I, I am kind of excited about possibility of me playing survival in this boss tomorrow. Like, if we decide, like, okay, we're gonna bring a survival hunter to this, I'm actually kind of legit excited about it. I will need to make sure to go and get a bunch of renown over on the, uh, <laughs> the, the Night Fae Covenant, because I don't think I have that one maxed out. I remember, like, working on that one originally. I was like, oh. alright, I want to play survival. But, uh, it looks like all the survival hunters that are playing, they're all Night Fae. So I guess I should probably play Night Fae. At the time I was like, alright, I guess I'll give it a go. And I just didn't really like it that much. I think in the end I ended up going Ventio for a while or something. Which ended up being like really, really good for PvP. Incredibly good. My buff? Let's go! Huge! 
Yeah, dude. They gotta make five bob just something you can like press a button and you get it immediately. You press a button and your next roll the bones is a five buff, guaranteed. How nice would that be? It's like, alright, boss is gonna take how much more damage in this phase? Alright, five minute cooldown. You get to decide the dice of fate. Or control the dice of fate, rather. Uh, oh, that's not good. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get him out. Wait, really? Did we miss one? Oh, we missed a bunch, actually. Missed a lot. Yeah, definitely. Jumpers. All right, let's see how the sim is looking from our hunter. 11k single target DPS is not amazing. But how do you sim Anduin, though? How do you sim Anduin? I don't think you can. How do you pull your hair out of frustration for this over and over? I don't know, man. I like doing these bosses. Like, it's a tough boss. And it's like, it's just... It's fun doing attempts and it's fun when you're learning. It's fun when you're getting better. It's fun when you watch yourself improve. Improving as a group is difficult. Like, improving by yourself is like, it's just you versus the boss. You know, some Dark Souls kind of stuff. And you either mess up or you do well. But here it's like... Not only do you have to play consistently well, but everybody else has to play consistently well. And it's just something about it is really, really fun. Like when it works, when you finally kill the boss, when you finally get past it. I'm frustrated for you. I know, I know. Like sometimes you just do it and over and over. It's like, man, just can't everybody get their shit together? It's like, if, even if you're playing right, somebody may make a mistake or maybe is trolling or maybe not paying attention for just a, a second and that's it and they die. And they get hit by a mechanic they weren't supposed to. Like, I get it. It just throws the stash of said, Yeah, yeah, That's how you do it, dude. I just, like, take all the frustration and just transfer it over. That's all I do. Did you sim Night Fairy Kirin? I simmed them both. Uh, Night F and the Kirin came up to be a higher sim, but it's a single target sim. How would you sim for Ando and Almez? Like, would you go for, like, Hectic Ad Cleave? Or, like, how would you properly sim Andy? How would you go about doing that? Because I'm not really sure how to properly sim Anduin, to be honest. I don't know if you do Ag Cleave or what. Like, maybe you do. Being a bear. Spread it out. But Fat White, I mean, it's just, it's, it, it's an experience, man. It takes a while, but it's very, very enjoyable for me. Like the grind and figuring out the fights and figuring out how you're supposed to play that properly. It's enjoyable. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't have fun with it. I think the reward of when you finally get the boss, when everybody finally kills it, where everybody finally figures out what they were doing right or what they were doing wrong and everything lines up. It's just, there's no feeling like that. There's no better feeling than that. Just being able to do it as a group. It's like, like I said, like it's like playing Elder Ring and finally get the boss after you've been working on him for like hours and hours and maybe even days. Be getting attempts in. And eventually drop him down. It's just, it's an awesome feeling. Oh, okay. okay, we're dead. Unfortunately. Make sure if you see people. Uh, out to the right, more specifically me, because I'm stunning there. And if you run in front of the star as I'm stunning, I have a choice whether to. Since Eddie is stun more like an AoE fight than Hectic Adley, but Kyrian would sim more, but Could Nightfree is better. Like, but like when you just do the boss at the end. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, you. Yeah, just play around that person running into you. I can understand <laughs> it. It's super fun. It's like the Mage Tower, I guess. Point, but but it's like, imagine if you if were doing the Mage Tower and there's 19 other people around you. At some point, just all you can also comes say together. Why the person with the star decided to drop it on him. That's like, very true. Open, open your eyes. Like, okay, I'm gonna see if I can run the sim out. again and maybe do it as a hectic okay. ad cleave. Precious. Beautiful eyes. You specialize.
Hectic Acleave. Let's simmer like that. I'll just simmer this Hectic Acleave so the numbers will look good. But yeah, I understand why Night Fruit would be better at the very end because you could just cleave the boss. Other than uh, Kirin seems to be a lot better right now. Um, I mean, I was but here, I, I, I see the why everybody like, else plays uh, Pori in like, particular. I'm just trying to find a sim that would work out pretty well that give maybe like an idea of what these, this fight is like. So then I'm gonna post it for uh, Euro. Because I just want to take a look at the Hunter's gear and then he can decide like whether he thinks that'll be good enough in order to bring in. And I can just spend tomorrow just running out Renown. If I can get that thing to Renown 80 on the uh, Night Fade then I think it'll be pretty decent. My Trinket is not the best, one of my Trinkets isn't that great. But the other pieces are pretty decent. By the way, boys, hope you all are having a good one. We're just having a good time. I think we got like one more pull maybe in us. What time is it? 11.55? I think it's one more pull time. I'm both looking. Hold on. What good? Food? Bob is ready. How about apparently? Boy. Just gonna let it some running in the background or sim running in the background. Billy Bob. I would bring a warlock in on this, but I'm not a greater warlock. One. That's right, you good. I don't have my tier set too. Yeah. Uh, I really need tier set three. Really, really need tier set. I need to get conquest on that thing too. Man, that's rough. Do, 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 do. The answer is yes, Eller. <laughs> Did I miss Barry? Spread it out. Step out, get a bit of heal, just so we don't die while inside a barrier. Feel free to pull us. Finish this barrier. Kingsworn group two, get ready. Sure. Kingsworn now. Lemon. You won't. I'll click early. I feel like my health just dips out so low, so quickly. Get us out of here! Yeah, you don't need a healer. Let me out! I believe. Healers, what are damn? It's okay, I'll just quit and then we'll move Yay! Or a crutch? It's okay. Yeah. Freaking. Alrighty, gang. 100% energy. Believe in the dream here. If you guys help me believe, man, you can maybe see P2 and be clean about it. This is the pull. This is either we do it or we don't. And I want to believe. I 
defenses. Welcome out. Uh, I'm really bad. I think I had full defense. I'm just gonna start working on monstrosity, honestly. Oh god. It's really bad. Please kill it, please kill it, please kill it, please kill it. Please kill it! Yeah! We live too! No way! We killed it and lived. Gods. Yeah, tanks let us know like which way they're gonna go. It helps a ton. Honestly, that helps a lot. Get Andy low. Please get him low. There we go. Hell yeah, dude. Look at him. 53 health. Baby health. Baby and him with a baby health. Can vanish well. fast enough. Boss. Like a stun. If I can do like a full stun, then it just is there for like seven minutes. Do nothing. Kind of nuts. I got nothing here. Kings Worm 1, get ready. Hope I don't get hit out of here. I don't. Cool. Nice. We don't want to cleave those ads just yet. We want to be very, very careful. Chat, we're actually doing it. Look at us. Ascending. Literally ascending. Oh, they're going to get pulled out really early. Relax, dude. Relax, man. Oh, uh, they're going to pulled out really early. Pulled out early. We don't have to rush that one. Please. Break us out, break us out, break us out. Break, 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 break. break, break. break. Oh, they did it! They actually got it! Oh, Wait! Oh, oh, oh. Right. how did I not get hit? How did I not get hit? Finish the barrier, guys. Watch out for that star. Triangle? We got blind. DC's here. Come on, come on, come on. Coming diamond first. Sorry, I'm gonna stun the first one. I'm gonna stun the first one where I can. That's me, that's me, that's me coming down. We're gonna go to green next, green next, green next. Okay, okay, this is interesting. Shit. This is interesting. This is interesting. Actually seeing progression chat. This is it, dude. This is it. You just stun on those ads, stun on those ads, stun on those ads. Got fear. Oh, they got feared. It's okay. Okay. Progress. Right, Progress, dude. boys. We're done there for tonight. Well done. Well, and we're we 45. If we got past phase, phase, this phase, if we can do this phase, Intermission is going to be My so bad. quick, go and then the boss is basically right, dead, because the last yeah. part is the easiest. First part is the hardest, second part is the second hardest, third part is the easiest. It takes a little bit of practice, all of it is going to take practice and a learning curve, oh, wait, but it's doable. It, it happened last time after raid. Hell yeah. We did promote Eller to Raider. Congratulations. Hog me. Congrats, Eller. Good job, dude. Um, good frog. Still a little inconsistent. Mm, mm, be on time mm, tomorrow. Mm, mm, mm. Get pulling early. We can make some serious inroads on this boss. Top, thank you very Hell much yeah. for stepping in and doing a good job, man. And talk sham, dude. Did pretty good. That's uh, that was a healer that we did from Team Two. You guys have a great night. The popped in and actually did pretty good in this fight. Then uh, I think he did good healing. They didn't do bad at all. Didn't do bad at all. Did exactly what it wanted to. Hell yeah. Alrighty, boys. Thanks so much for popping in, man. I appreciate it. We're done for the night. Tomorrow we're coming back. Not streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow is just a day off for me. I'm chilling. I'm working on vids. I'm raiding. I'm doing the regular regular. Boys, thanks so much for popping in. I appreciate you. you. guys are super fun to hang out with. You guys are wonderful. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you boys. Uh, I'll see you boys another time. Yeah, I'll see you guys uh, Friday. For them 5 following one stream. Take it easy. I'll be hanging out on Discord if you guys want to chit chat and hang out, man. I might do some uh, PTR stuff on Discord tomorrow, or not on Discord, but maybe I'll do some PTR stuff tomorrow. 
Maybe I can get some of you guys to join me for some PTR Dungeons of Discord. That'd be fun. That could be kind of cool. Yeah? Yo, thank you guys. <laughs> fun to watch. Take care, yo. I'll see you guys Friday, yeah? Alright, you guys take it easy.